lrn.fm. In the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, March 23rd, 2014. Silver is trading at $20.33 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,334 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $565. The New York Daily News reports dozens of same-sex couples married in Michigan early Saturday and will be the only ones wed for at least the next few days as a federal appeals court has since suspended gay marriage in Michigan. The suspension comes one day after federal judge Bernard Friedman overturned the state's ban. The Cincinnati court's order, however, will pause same-sex weddings at least through Wednesday. Before the ruling was put on hold, Glena DeJong and Marcia Casper showed up bright and early Saturday morning to become the first gay couple married in Michigan after a federal judge ditched the state's ban on same-sex marriage the day before. Casper said, I figured in my lifetime it would happen, but now, when it happens now, it's just overwhelming. I still can't believe it. I don't think it's hit me yet. DeJong said it was a day of sheer joy. Michigan became the 18th state to allow gay marriage after U.S. District Judge Bernard Friedman overturned its ban against the unions. One Wayne County resident said, It's about time we were afforded the same rights. Not special rights, just the same rights that everyone else has. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Amagi Metals. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. Amagi Metals offers beautiful gold and silver rounds and ingots at great prices. Amagi Metals also accepts Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin, allowing you to convert your cryptocurrencies into precious metals. Shop Amagi Metals online at gold.fppradio.com. That's gold.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports AFP reporter Sardar Ahmad, his wife, and two of his children were among nine people killed in an attack in the Serena Hotel in Kabul on Friday. Serena is a luxury hotel popular with foreign diplomats. Reports say the attackers, four teenagers, managed to sneak pistols into the hotel hidden in their socks and got past several layers of security at the hotel before launching their attack at the buffet. Though the attackers only had tiny pistols, they managed to keep shooting for two solid hours until security forces managed to kill the last attacker. The Interior Ministry said they believe the attack is threatening the security of the election in April and that they believe the target was an Afghan senator who was injured but still alive. Three other members of parliament were also there and threw their drinks at the attackers escaping unharmed. FPP Radio News is brought to you by $6 Shirts. $6 Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Go look at their shirts. They're witty, hip, smart, and liberty-oriented. Shop $6 Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. That's 6.fppradio.com. USA Today reports two people were killed Saturday and at least six injured after a huge mudslide came down on homes in Snohomish County in northwest Washington. County spokeswoman Sherry Ireton says a six-month infant was among those injured. The injured were taken to a nearby hospital for treatment, according to spokeswoman Jennifer Eager of Cascade Valley Hospital in Arlington, Washington. There was no word on their conditions. At least six homes were destroyed, according to authorities, and one witness said the slide came down right in front of him, and it was like darkness covering the road. Another man reported hearing the screams of a baby. The estimated mile-long slide of dirt, trees, rocks, and other debris cut off the city of Darrington, just north of Seattle, and is blocking the North Fork of the Stillagamish River. Authorities said they believe the slide was caused by groundwater saturation from recent heavy rainfall. Geologists have been called out to determine how stable the area is. The slide happened yesterday morning at 11 a.m. local time and carried a house with people inside across a rural road, according to Sheriff's spokeswoman Bronley Mishler. 
This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. Poets across the nation issued a statement Thursday announcing that shadows, inky sharp as the raven's beak, meet the clouds like dusty charcoal on an ashen brow. Citing the ageless gloom of morning and a weary sun, its astral luminescence wrapped in arid gauze, the report noted that doubt lingers in the frail minutes of a young dawn. For what is the sound of hope? For what is life's moment of fulfillment? The supple lie of spring prolongs the inquisition. Father! Father! Do you not sense the dread of autumn's looming song danced in trembling half-step? One, two, one, two. The poets later added, womb, womb, womb. And in local news, a sad sack is bullied by an area goose. In other news, a photographer specializes in those pictures where lights going by really fast look like lines. An entree is apparently the kind you squeeze lime over. And employees finally get that break room bathtub they wanted. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and I don't know where the intro bumper music is, but this is Free Talk Live. Who needs it? In studio tonight, it's Daryl. Nemi. And Mark. And Mark, you have a story out of Ohio that Nemi is actually going to wind (laughs) up reading yeah, I don't sound so hot right now, so I thought I would uh, give everybody... Nimi hasn't been on the show in a couple few months, so I thought I would let uh, let her do the talking yeah, well, first Yeah, thanks. I appreciate and that. And this is something that is very odd and strange and just reeks of zero tolerance that gets translated into zero thinking aloud. Yes, a lot of that. Well, and certainly thought crime and, and zero tolerance and what sort of nonsense that is. Something to do with a 10-year-old boy and his fingers shaped like the letter L turned on its side. That's right. Nathan, a 10-year-old, spent three days out of this alternative elementary school in February for making a gun gesture with his hand, pointing it at another student and saying, bang. An offense the Columbus School District equated to a look-alike firearm on school grounds. His- right, so he he does this the classic you know gun symbol with your hand and goes bang to another student and that's enough. So he's ten. So that's what third or fourth grade. Yeah, about fourth, that. Yeah, probably fourth grade. Um, so he can't point a gun. I, I mean, a finger at another student and saying saying bang. So his parents appealed the discipline. Uh, despite the, oh, it's a fifth grader, uh, having already served the suspension in hopes of having the crime, quote unquote, wiped from his school record. record. That's right. <laughs> I think it's a huge leap to call a finger a gun, and I think it's terrible to suspend a 10 year old for three days for playing, the boy's grandfather said in an interview on Tuesday. A principal made it look as bad as possible. The school district spokesman, Jeff Warner, told the Columbus Dispatch that a hearing officer offered to revise the offense to be called a quote-unquote volatile act instead of the hand gun charge. But he retru- the proposed change was rejected and instead plans to appeal the suspension to the district superintendent. That didn't work. Uh, he, is, he is willing to sue the school and the principal for what is called an overzealous reaction to his grandson's in-school horseplay. Well, it's pretty obvious that this little terrorist is from a family of terrorists. I mean, these people fighting our, our, our hardworking government bureaucrats here who are simply trying to follow the rules and weed out the little the little dangerous kids. Uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious this kid was threatening the other child. He's probably going to shoot him after school. You know, and... One thing that, Mark, I've heard you talk about in the past, and I'm sure other people have brought up before, is that when things like this happen on private property, at worst, the person is asked to leave the property. Yeah. There is no crime. There is no arrest. Nobody goes to jail. I mean, there's not even a credible threat here. Was anyone actually scared? Oh, yeah, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, the idea that I, I mean, this has been done for so long by so many. Uh, I mean, in, in my school, the worst would be, uh, I mean, this is a private school. Uh, the worst thing that would have happened was, Mark, go sit down. You're, you're disturbing the class. Go sit down. 
Right. Take a time out or go to the principal's office. Not even nothing or, like that. Right, may, maybe Mark's parents get called and, hey, you, you need to talk to your son because he is being disruptive, running around, pretending to have an imaginary gun. And shooting people, so just well, you know, talk to it and try try and you know I teach him time motion, place. I don't think the finger motion would have mattered at all. It, when I went went to kindergarten, I went wearing a full Western cowboy outfit more than one time. Okay, that was guns. in the 1840s. No, no, that's not true. And I mean, even just in the last week, uh, Daryl, you know, I, I posted an update on my Facebook page that I, I woke up to see an eight year old. Dressed as Wolverine, the the X Men character. Yes, and I, I mean claws and and hood and everything. And he was was definitely in in character. And is that is that something that's going to get him kicked out, suspended, and 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 deal with all of this? Did did he have the uh, atomite He's, finger? He certainly things? did. He, he was very very intimidating he, he, yeah, before he squealed and ran away. It was it was pretty funny. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, that kid could have disemboweled somebody, right? Really, could have, or could, pretended to at least, you know, yeah. could have, could have done this. So th- to get back to this article from the the New York Daily News, um, the the dad is talking and he says the way they've treated Nathan has left emotional damage. I believe that on his record, it's not going to reflect that he he simply pointed his finger. It will show that he had a fake firearm at school. That's a broad jump to fit the fit the language of the offense, which refers to bringing any spring loaded type gun to school. Yeah, so, well, the there, there, there's a tendon <laughs> in, in the thumb joint, and tendons act like springs yeah. in, in a way, kind of. So almost immediately after Nathan returned from suspension last month, school officials contacted his dad with concerns about drawings they'd found in the boy's notebook. Oh yeah, see the pattern. The pattern deepens Continues. here. Nathan had scribbled recreations of swords and figures and tridents, things he'd seen while watching Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, a children's movie rated PG, or I don't know, Aladdin, which is rated G, or uh, uh, Little Mermaid. P- Poseidon had the big trident, you know, right, trident, trident thing. Right. He'd also written, I'm an assassin, next to pictures of ninjas, his grandfather said. The boy had been drawing figures he'd seen on his older brother's Assassin's Creed video game, and he had no nefarious intent. But recent school shootings have administrators overly cautious, said Price, the principal, who has warned her students several times that they are not permitted to make any gun jokes or gestures and has sent home letters to parents. The kids were told, if you don't stop doing this type of stuff, there would be consequences. There will be consequences after the suspension was disclosed last month and it has just been escalating. The ongoing battle has soured the dad on the Columbus school system, which many of his five children and 26 grandchildren have attended, and he can guarantee that none of his grandchildren will go to that school next year, he said. Well, I can certainly understand why a parent would not want to send their kid to these government schools with situations like this occurring. I, I, I mean, you know, just what I need. You it, Growing up is hard enough, and I don't need you people messing my kid up. Well, and the thing that a lot of parents and grandparents that have custody of school-aged children don't really understand is it's not one particular public school that is bad. All public schools are bad. Some just happen to be more bad than others. Well, what's bad about all public schools? Well, the fact that they're all funded through taxation. None of them are funded voluntarily. Yeah. Do you understand why some parents might say that, uh, you know, know, I'm not some kind of principled libertarian. I don't have the same issues you people have. Um, So, you know, I live in a district where they have a reasonably good school and I already have to pay for it. So I might as well send my kid there. Right. And that school isn't going to be as good as a free market school where parents are encouraged to be involved in the education of their children. I think that's largely true, right? That um, generally private schools are better than public schools. Um, I also think that you can do uh, you can do really great stuff by uh, keeping your kid at home and homeschooling. Some parents don't feel like they have those options. I think that even if you have to send your kid to public school, and I recommend getting them out uh, because of, because of situations like this, you never see this kind of stuff coming. It hits you like a freight train out of left field. Not that freight trains come from left field. I think my analogy's messed up. Um, 
<laughs> it hits you like a freight train out of Kalamazoo. And um, you have no idea that these things are, are, are going to occur. But you have to be involved in your kids' education one way or the other, um, whether they're in public school, whether they're in private school, and realize that you're turning your kid over to unaccountable bureaucrats. In, in private school, they're accountable as much as a business is accountable. Not that every business always provides stellar customer service, but that they tend to provide better customer service than governments. And do. further to that, zero tolerance policies just take any thought out of it and, yeah. and therefore responsibility whatsoever. So, you know, you have public school bureaucrats who are like, oh, my hands are tied. He had a... He had a fig Newton chewed into the shape of a gun. He has to that go. That happened once. That was uh, it he was a pop tart. It was a pop tart, right? Or uh, some kind of you know, uh, toaster or, pastry. Or wearing... Toaster pastry. Yes, we we don't know whether credit was given. Credit was bought in that case. You know, or maybe a Lego gun. You know, where's the that credible, happened too? Where's the credible threat here? That there was one where the kid took the letter L, a little cardboard thing. He just happened to grab the letter L, and turned it and was holding it. And, well, nope, the letter L is now a gun, and you are suspended. This suspension brought to you by the letter L. <laughs> it's crazy. We're break. Okay, you've got something. Best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. BuzzBox coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade-grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Now, how much money will all those closeted Republican convention goers bring into the city, Marie? A lot. The average area prostitute normally makes around two to three hundred dollars a week jerking off truck drivers behind the bus station. I see. Next week, they are expecting to make 30 times that amount sucking off secretly gay Republicans. Wow. You figure the fact that these delegates are so repressed and filled with self-hatred. Yes. They tend to like the filthiest, kinkiest sex acts imaginable. Oh, that's which right. Which tends to cost more. The average well-adjusted gay man has no desire to smear fecal matter all over his partner's <laughs> face would no. be beat up by him. But that is exactly the sort of thing that these repressed conservatives are willing to pay top dollar for. Okay, as well as the services of transsexuals, oh, I understand. Yes. A, a lot of the Republicans repeatedly call the prostitutes faggots or True. start crying after they've had sex with them. I suppose the prostitutes are shoring up on their politics so they can talk to the Republicans. Ha ha, Andrea, what do you think this is? Pretty woman? They're just there to get f right. Thank you, Marie Byron. Oh, RNC's always a good time. This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. 
Thanks to Bitcoin, LRN.FM is able to provide our free-to-air satellite channel across North and Central America. You can listen to LRN.FM 24-7 via satellite for no monthly cost. Learn more about our satellite channel at sat.lrn.fm. And if you'd like to help us continue to expand, you can send us Bitcoins via the address you'll find under the Bitcoin graphic in the right column of LRN.FM. To learn more about Bitcoin, visit weusecoins.com. That's weusecoins.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can call in, take control, talk about whatever it is that is on your mind. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We also have Skype, username lrn.fm. If Skype is available to you, it generally sounds better than the telephones. So those are just a couple of ways that you can get interactive. We also have a cam built into the page at cam.freetalklive.com. Chat room built in to the cam page. You can go there and watch the show as well as listen. And talk to us. Yeah, if what you're looking to do is uh, camp, hunt, shoot, you can go to manventureoutpost.com. They've got everything that the outdoor enthusiast might need. And they've got the name brands at the lowest prices. They carry most uh, major brands of uh, guns, uh, handguns, long guns, ammunition, whatever you might need. They've got knives, scopes, binoculars water purification, tents, apparel, boating equipment, all kinds of firearm accessories and, um, you know, archery, air guns, those kind of things. Manventureoutpost.com. It's a family-owned operation. They've got the lowest prices. Go check for yourself. Every time I've purchased there, I've always attempted to look around just to make sure that uh, Man Venture is still the lowest in the sphere. But you can get the name brands at the lowest prices at manventureoutpost.com. So we've been talking about the 10-year-old boy from Ohio who has come into some trouble for using his finger and thumb to shape it like a pretend gun. Yeah, he made a finger gun. And going pow, 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 and then apparently drawing ninjas and writing assassin next to it. Well, he was originally suspended for the gun, the the quote-unquote gun incident anyway. Um, but it, it was after his return, it was within only a few days that the parents were contacted again because they had gone through this boy's notebook. Why, I don't know. Like, how, how does his notebook become... They're, they're under how does it fall under their purview the school administrators yeah well it, it was left in his desk and while he wasn't there you know we just had to look to see if he was doing anything or left any notes to show that he was a credible threat right you know that they, they they always find these notebooks after things either happen or in this case just something innocent that didn't happen but they still found something in a notebook sure it justifies their behavior to some extent in their minds but i don't know about who whoever's listening to this show i spent most of my uh, my school career drawing little battle scenes on the sides of paper um sometimes if it got to be too much the teachers would say something but if you just draw us drew a spaceship or a laser or, um you know a sword or something like that they usually just let it slide but i i turned these things in uh, absolutely once i was done doing my work i i drew all kinds of things and the doodled i doodled on the paper and yes the things i doodled were usually deadly wow and Mark, you never got suspended from school. No, I remember one time that I had, uh, you know, basically, you know, the the paper. It just got to be too much, right? Like, there's a huge battle scene with spaceships all over the place, and um, you know, teachers like tone it down. Wow, that was it. Um, when I was in fifth grade, I did a history class where I um, taught everyone how to make musket balls, um, and then I was on my high school's rifle team. So I don't 
you know, this is this is just completely asinine to me. They still have high school high school rifle teams. Um, I don't. It's certainly only in in prep school circles. Not. That's I don't it. think there are any any public school rifle teams anymore. Yeah, I guess the public school kids won't be uh, participating in the biathlon, right? No, and man, God bless their hearts, because that's a tough sport. I did that for a year, and it's it is no good. Skiing at all. and shooting. Skiing and shooting. Yeah. Man, no, no. And, I would and then every time you miss the target, you have to take what is it, one or two penalty laps? Yep. Yeah, um, the idea. It's so, uh, you know, shooting is is it's difficult. You're sta- what are you standing to do the shooting generally? Uh, no, it's uh, lying down. Okay, prone. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's hard. Your breath's going heavy. The the sights moving all over the place. It's, it's difficult. Yeah, and pulse. The pulse is in your ears, yep. and it's it's really yeah. It is it is difficult. It takes a lot of um, practice and a lot of. Uh, perseverance as well so let's go to the phones and to the fun actually to skype and dave in michigan dave you want to talk about voting rights and a hypothetical solution to the growth of government yes can you guys hear me just fine yep absolutely go ahead all right perfect uh yeah i've been thinking about this for a little while and i thought you guys would be a perfect uh source of discussion on this um, I am an anarchist at heart, but pr- for practical political reasons, I'm a libertarian Republican. Anyways, um, I've been thinking about voting rights and what qualifies it, first of all, as a right uh, to, if you have a conflict of interest, let's say you are a person who collects welfare in any way, shape, or form, or you, your business is, makes 50% or more of its money from government contracts, why is it that you have a right to vote because isn't that a conflict of interest? Aren't you going to only choose to increase the size and scope of government? And knowing that, what if hypothetically uh, the liberty movement were able to get in a political position where you could, and this may sound elitist, I know, limit voting rights and make it so that only people who do not receive Social Security checks, do not receive Medicare and Medicaid, are not government employees, are not do not receive money from government contracts. You know, take those people off the voting rolls. How would that impact the nature of government in America? Would you also remove people from the voting rolls who have ever received a tax refund? Yeah, much of the uh, uh, the earned income tax credit um, and head of household, uh, <laughs> that stuff is just full on welfare. Half of the people that uh, that actually file taxes don't pay income U.S. income tax. They actually get money back. I've actually thought about that, and I would say that actually, yes, if you are a net benefactor of government in some way, shape, or form, remove you from the rolls, or you choose to no longer be a benefactor so you can vote. What about people that no longer file federal income tax forms? Should they be allowed to vote? Well, why not? They're not feeding into the system, so if they're not a net benefactor of welfare— from the government spending money on them directly, why why wouldn't they be able to vote? Let me let me tell you something that happened here in Keene recently. Um, a few of the activists, I guess about ten or twelve of them, went to a school board meeting. Uh, Daryl, you were among them. Yes, yes, I was. And what would you say that the um, eighty plus percent of the other people at the school board meeting did for a living? Uh, the vast majority of them were either school employees or very close relatives to school employees. So you had essentially a situation where school employees were voting on whether or not school employees got raises and those sorts of things. That's correct. Yeah, so I mean, you know, these sorts of situations occur, and they occur far more often and, you know, far more egregiously, even when government employees uh, are are involved. So, I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but I guess the counter argument would be, well, aren't you just talking about a plutocracy? You know, where you're talking about a situation because basically only the top 10 or 15, I'm sorry, 15 or 20 percent of uh, earners pay income tax of any quantity, really. Um, those would be the people that would be voting. And a lot of people would feel really bad about that. Dave, hang on. Really ha- hang on, because I, I do want your response to this. We'll get that when we come back in the next segment. This is Free Talk Live. 855-450 free. For years, you've been hearing about Herbal Healer Academy and how it's remained the leader in effective alternative and natural medicine and education. 
But how can they continue to hold that title for years on end? The answer is high quality and huge selection. Just visit HerbalHealer.com and shop online or request a free catalog. You're bound to find the alternative you're looking for. Did you know that Herbal Healer carries the latest, safest, and effective weight loss products? You can also count on Herbal Healer for the largest selection of safe and natural supplements just for children. And don't forget your pets. Herbal Healer even has natural mineral supplements for all your animals, including horses, cows, and birds. Take a peek at their online calendar, and you're sure to find everything you need and maybe something you didn't realize you needed. Visit HerbalHealer.com and don't forget to sign up for the free Herbal Healer newsletter. HerbalHealer.com, working with the power of nature. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Freedomsphoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. Freedomsphoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday edition. Yes, I know it's very odd to hear live radio on a Sunday night, but we do it live seven nights a week. And if you want to go back and listen to some of the old shows, you can do that. Go to archives.freetalklive.com. Archives going all the way back to late 2006, and we don't charge a dime. We don't even charge a penny for them. They are all free. The only thing that it costs is whatever amount of electricity and internet that you use to access those archives at archives.freetalklive.com. 
And in studio tonight, it's Daryl. And Mark. And back to the phones and the fun. Well, uh, Nimi just uh, stepped out of the studio. It looks like she's got a bolt. So, um, you know, for those who are listening for Nimi, sorry about that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she she might be back. Probably not. I don't know. But going back to the Skype call, Dave in Michigan. Dave, I, I want your answer to the question that Mark brought up at the end of the last segment about if we limit the number of people that are allowed to vote, would that not then create a plutocracy or at the very least go back to something akin to only white male landowners being allowed to vote? Well, I would say that sounds like an extreme extrapolation of the idea. But don't we already limit the people who can vote? How so? Uh, if, if, if federal felons. Let's look at that. I mean, Only in a few states. You... And um, actually, you know, there's there's reform afoot. Uh, you know, it's going to be very difficult for those states to keep it that way. Okay. What about people who don't have a, a state ID? Yeah. I mean, but you can go get a state ID, and in most cases, they're free. Uh, like, but isn't it arguable that if you have anything less than 100% of people who are eligible to vote, you may have a plutocracy? I suppose um, it's uh, plutocracy is uh, ruled by the rich. Um, I, here's okay, so here's what well, I would say. Um, I think that what you're doing is you're setting, you're you're proposing to essentially change the Constitution, and we all know the the Beatles Revolution uh, song. You know, if uh, you know everybody wants to change your head, um, it seems unlikely that you're going to get what you want. I, I concur with you, but why not just say something to the effect of, look, if a law is a good law, then why can't we get every lawmaker to agree on it? We can have a democratic vote of everybody to, uh, you know, to vote on the lawmakers, and then you know the one that gets fifty plus fifty percent plus one wins. But we have to get all of those liars, shysters, thieves, and backstabbers to agree on every uh, single law that they they come up with, and you would get the same results. Now, both of these are just as unlikely to occur. As um, as the other. So, Dave, you said you were in, you know, you were at heart, you were liberty oriented or an anarchist, which draws up the idea of bombs and and terrible little mustaches. Uh, but, uh, you know, you you said that uh, for practical purposes, you're a liberty leaning Republican. And the question I would ask you is rather than sitting around and coming up with, uh, you know, really just phantoms that will never come to fruition, why not pick up and move your life to, Keen, or to, to New Hampshire, where you can actually have an effect on the political system, where we have secured for ourselves a libertarian veto in the state house. No law gets through that gets through the 80, per, the 80 people of uh, the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance caucus. Uh, actually, I have signed up to uh, the statement of intent to move to New Hampshire uh, once I have the ability to do so. So I've already done that. Yep. But... Um, I don't know. I just I just wanted to impart this idea that well, look at the uh, look at the trend. If you see in the United States, the more people who were given the ability to vote, and this is not a racial or class thing. It's just the more the more you allow uh, more and more people to vote, the lower the quality of those who are elected becomes. Well, I don't know that the quality of people that were elected in the past was particularly good. Um, I mean, it's difficult to really point to that um, in in time. But I do agree with you that a nation that can vote itself privileges is going to eat itself. Yeah, yeah, and and if it seems that if you allow everyone to vote, just carte blanche, to me, you're not going to get the best. You're going to get the lowest common denominators, those who appeal most to the thieving, lazy uninspired uh, members of society who are going to be most desirable of other people's property. Well, when you have the winner-take-all sort of system that we have, then, yes, you do wind up with, you know, the worst of the worst. If we were to adopt some form of proportional representation to where here in New Hampshire there's 400 state reps, so every person that got one quarter of one percent of the vote would then become a state rep you would have more than just two factions of thieves representing you in the government 
Well, I'm not sure how that would function on a national scale, though. That's the thing. Oh, that, that would... uh, you think you're going to save Washington, D.C.? I'm sorry. I no, thought we were, not I at thought all. we were having a realistic conversation here. No, uh, no. <laughs> so Washington, D.C. is a den of thieves. Uh, it's a juicy plum where the world's power sits. And the wealthy and power have never been separated because people— I, uninformed voters and just the people generally have believed for whatever reason that wealthy people are going to represent their interests. It's ridiculous. The The Democrats hold themselves up as the party of the people. I mean, there's not one of them's not a millionaire. And once they get in, you can believe they're going to be a milli millionaire in, in short order. So it's it's really laughable, the idea that these uh, these people are going to represent any anyone. Who, it, but, you know, that's the story. And what you actually get is, eh, you know, a few bones thrown here and there to the poor while the, the corporations just keep on getting the uh, getting their grease, palms greased and uh, their pockets stuffed full of your money. Dave, thanks for the call to Bob in Kalamazoo listening to WKZO. Wants to talk about freedom versus anarchy. Bob, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi, guys. Well, I'm, I'm concerned you want, uh, it sounds like you guys want total freedom. That's kind of like anarchy to, to anarchy to me. And when you have anarchy, you're going to have the powerful become more powerful eventually because they, they can, uh, you know, get people around them, they can have uh, gangs, they can have uh, whatever they want to do because nothing's going to stop them. They can Isn't that what they do now? They don't like. Well, the government does that now. Yeah, well, <laughs> indeed, that's who the powerful are, and they have gangs. Now, those gangs generally fly flags, and if you, are, if you don't worship those flags, you're considered to be an evil individual. But yes, I mean, that's, that's what we have now. But what, what limits would you propose, though, on freedom? Because you can't have totally free freedom sure. because you'll, you'll end up with excesses, you know, excesses of some kind. And whoever happens to have the most power today is going to abuse somebody else. Well, I would propose. I mean, if you're if we're at, if we're talking the you know land, I don't I don't use the term anarchy. I think it's a you know a, a loaded term. Have no interest in that term, um, and it doesn't okay. rep, it doesn't represent what well, I believe. Say, but I understand what you're asking me, so I'll 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 answer the question. Uh, freedom means you get to choose who you associate with. Choose to who you do business exactly. with. Exactly. Yep. So right. if I could choose, for instance, um, instead of the government picking up my trash, well, I'd like to contract with people that. Pick up trash to do that. If I want, say, to send my kid to a school that isn't the government school, I don't see any reason why I should have to pay to send, you know, to send other people's kids who probably drive nicer cars and live or live in bigger houses to their to their those schools. And I don't see any reason why I should have to pay for services I don't want and need, like, for instance, the NSA spying on me. And Mark, if there was total freedom, there would not be the government-run school right. that you're being forced to pay for. There would not be the government-run trash collection service that you're forced to pay for. There would not be Halliburton getting government subsidies, and you wouldn't have big, giant mega corporations getting bailed out by the government because there would not be a government to bail those companies out. I'm just proposing that people be able to opt out. And if they opt out, they're going to want many of the services that they currently get at an inflated price from the government, and they should be able to buy those services elsewhere. Bob, anything to add? Okay. Well, yeah, if you have, if you have right. a company that takes Hold all on. that over, you're Hold going to on. have problems. Bob. We'll, we'll bring you back in the next segment. Let Bob finish his thoughts on that. Freedom versus anarchy. Do you support total freedom? 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. This is Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. 
This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. I'm David Crudeni, President and CEO of Cigna. We're proud to support the March of Dimes by walking in the March for Babies. It feels great to know that the money we raise funds life-saving research and programs that improve the health of babies. With your help, we can make this year better than ever. Join Cigna and our coworkers across the country in March for Babies to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthier babies. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org and march to help our babies. Thank you. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday edition. Yes, we're live seven nights a week. You can call in 855-450-FREE. That is the ProXPN toll-free call-in line. Mark, what is ProXPN? ProXPN is a global virtual private network, and it allows all of your online data to be encrypted back and forth between uh, you know, wherever you're going on the Internet and your computer. So your Internet service provider... They record everything that you do for months, and in many cases, years. And they will think nothing of turning that information over to any law enforcement agency uh, or whatever that's on some kind of fishing trip or uh, trying to hunt down lawbreakers. And God knows, we just saw a kid who uh, got in trouble for drawing guns. And who knows how your internet searches will be interpreted. Plus the fact if you go to airports or um, your coffee shops or internet uh, access the internet elsewhere, let's not forget in the private world there are, you know, thieves that want to steal your information too. Yes. And they can make your life miserable in the process. So if you just go to proxpn.com, um, excuse me, it's proxpn.com/ftl, you can use 
promo code FTL20 to get 20% off of their price of their premium account, which will get you the annual plan that adds up to about $5 a month. It's really, really inexpensive to actually have private internet surfing. And it'll work on Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Linux, no matter what. You can use it on all your devices. Um, you're, the same plan, all the devices. So once you have a plan, you can use it on any one of any one of your devices. It's proxpn.com slash FTL, promo code FTL20. You have to use that for the annual plan to get the discount. But you can also use Bitcoin and get it a 30% discount doing that too. So Get the uh, security and privacy that you've got a right to at proxpn.com slash FTL. Back to the phones and back to Bob in Michigan. Bob, there was something that I, I forget exactly what it was that one either me or Mark had asked, but you definitely wanted to answer, and I wanted to give you time to answer. Well, when you have a total loss of government, a vacuum of government, you're going to end up with someone else picking up that power, be it, you know, uh, an outsider, a large company, uh, some uh, gangster type entity, or just a powerful group of people who say, I want to rule you. And so, that, that well, hold on, yeah, hold what, on. what I'd like to see is a constitutional government. I, I hear what you're saying. And I, I might be – so I want to live in the constitutional government land that you want to live in too. But the difference here that we're talking about – I'm not talking about doing away with government. That's why I don't call myself an anarchist. I want government. Okay. I just want government to be voluntary, government that people want. And that's a – you know, that's a – it's it's an entirely different situation. So I'm talking – the state is a monopoly on government. They say we're going to be your government. We own this land, and whether you like it or not, you're going to pay taxes as long as you're on this land. And the United States government says as long as you're on the planet. As a matter of fact, the people orbiting the planet have to pay them taxes. They can they can tax you on Pluto because they say it. Yeah. That's that's what, you know, that's that's the insanity that we're dealing with. So, um really what I'm talking about here is the question here's the question I have. In your constitutional republic, I live there with you. That's where I want to live. Um if say Daryl for instance says, you know, whatever this government program you have is whether whether it's the uh, the school program school voucher program you've got or the um, you know uh, the, the war you want to fight or whatever it is i'm i'm just not interested in that one and i'm going right. to i'm not going to pay for that can daryl do that right no, he cannot. Right. So that's what you've got there is a monopoly. And when you give a government a monopoly, every single time you're going to see that government grab another monopoly and another and another until that government grows into a giant beast like the one we've got today. Right. That's the difficulty. Right. I understand. I agree with you then. I agree with you because the government is just far too large. But I do want a government. I want a government too. I just want the, gov I want the government that, that fits my life and my plan. I, I want to okay. be able to opt in and consent to whatever exists, and what we have now, I never consented to. Let's go to Aaron in Eckhart, Indiana, listening to AM590, wants to talk about the justice system. Aaron, you're on Free Talk Live with Mark and Daryl. Hey, guys. Thanks a lot for uh, letting me uh, tell you this crazy story. You want to talk about injustice and insanity. Back in December, I got a ticket, and I noticed that the officer had my driver's license number wrong, home address wrong, color of my car wrong, and the make wrong. I told the officer this information. He said it didn't matter. Um, I accidentally forgot to pay for the ticket, and then when I did remember to pay for it, my license was suspended. Well, here it is a month and a half later, and the courts tell me that it's not their job to fix it. It's the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. So I call the Bureau of Motor Vehicles, and they tell me that they cannot reinstate my driver's license until all the information is correct. So I call the court. The courts tell me that they cannot correct the information. It has to be the police department or the officer that issued the ticket. Sweet. So I contact the police department, and the police department tells me that they cannot find this ticket in any record, and that officer has since retired in <laughs> October, which is kind of funny because that officer retired in October. That's before the ticket was issued in December. So now I'm being told by all three agencies they can't do nothing to help me, and now I've been pulled over numerous times for driving while suspended, and I've been told that eventually one of these officers is going to arrest me 
and put me in jail for driving while suspended, impound my vehicle, and now I'm going to lose my job, my home, and everything because an officer screwed up. And no one wants to fix it. Hey, he's not and an officer. To show up. This isn't an officer. Huh? This guy this guy was clearly pretending to be a police officer. And he's in cahoots with the people at the police department that filed this ticket. <laughs> <laughs> this this is completely asinine. It is. I gotta show off fifteen hundred dollars to go hire an attorney. So what what happens is is now I paid fifty bucks for the ticket and fifteen hundred dollars for an attorney. And so I paid fifteen hundred fifty dollars, and I'm never going to get a dime of that back because they screw up. Yeah. I got to pay for it. Right, and so this is uh, you know an interesting thing. So who do you think wrote that law that uh, that you got uh, arrested for, uh, ticketed for? Well, some attorneys. So now you have to well, hire yeah, an attorney. You have to hire an attorney to undo the mess that attorneys made. This is what they call rent seeking. Um, when when you know they. You know, when people aren't providing a service in, to the marketplace, but in fact just sort of uh, leeching. And that's what attorneys largely do. Well, here's what my attorney told me when I talked to him. He says, we're going to have a problem fixing this. I said, why? He goes, there's no laws on it. He goes, yeah, you had a seatbelt ticket. You did, you did break the law. I said, yes. You paid for it, yes. He says, okay, so how do we fix something when you didn't violate anything? They, broke, they, they messed up what they wrote in a piece of paper he goes, the problem we're having is, is who's responsible for fixing it? There's no, there's no jurisdiction here. There's no law. There's no nothing that says this agency is responsible for fixing it. It's ridiculous. And that's the problem he's having. He goes, he doesn't know who to go to court against, the Bureau of Motor Vehicles, the police department, or the court. All three. Yeah, but at least he gets paid $1,500 to try to fix the problem. You, on the other hand, are going to get your car impounded. So and I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose everything. Because, and I and I have no um, um, uh, legal outs on this. I can't sue anybody either because he even said the same thing. He goes, "This is a, a suable case if we knew who to sue." Right. Well, so, where, where are you sitting at legally right now? You've got a suspended license, and there's no way of getting it unsuspended. There is no way of getting it unsuspended until the police department, according to the Bureau of Motor Vehicles, according to the court until the police department or officer fixes the incorrect information on the ticket. But the police department has no record of that ticket. The, the ticket does, that you pay. The motor vehicle does. Yes. So how do you pay a ticket that they don't have possession of? Well, remember, I paid the court. I paid the ticket at the court because somehow they got a record of it, but the police department does it. Here's when what you I get do. a ticket, it goes from the police department to the court. Here's what I do. Um, I would what? get a tent. And I would sit outside the police station where you believe, uh, you know, whatever your problem is with the ticket. You have the paperwork that you have, the whatever numbers you need to have and camp out there until either A, they figure out the problem or B, they arrest you. I mean, at this point, you're talking about fifteen hundred dollars. The imp imp what do we call that imposition um, impoundment of your car um, and loss of a job. So you've got you've got a lot at stake at this point. So I think it's worth something like that. Go. And, and then let the local news team know. Call Channel 8 Action on Your Side and let them know what's up and then tell them what time you're going to be there and camp out, put a tent up, have a sign out and said, all I want to do is pay my ticket. And, you know, at some point or another, they're going to hate having this kind of uh, this this thing, this, the sort of Damocles hanging over their head and they'll fix it. That's the Aaron. best I can come up with. I hope that you get this resolved, and I hope you will let us know what happens once you do get it resolved. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN call-in line. Quantum Vibe, it's year 2523. There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury. People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed. With brain implants and artificial gravity. A scientific genius and his clever assistant. Set out on an adventure through the solar system On a secret mission to find the key To access new frontiers and save liberty QuantumVibe.com From Big Head Press 
flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. Get donor oak laminate flooring for only 49 cents a square foot. Exotic black mamba hand scraped bamboo for just $1.89. Even three quarter inch pre-finished hickory hardwood for an unheard of $2.59 a square foot. They've got free samples at your local store plus 22 months special financing available. So go to LumberLiquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand. And this is Jessica Armand. Here with your Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Gold open today at $1,326, silver at $20.29, and Bitcoin is trading at $592. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem, operated by Liberty Beat founder John Bush, online at SovereignBTC.com. And from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy at 512-343-6494, or apply online at calldorothy.com, NMLS 216624. And from the Soleil School, enrolling children from 5 through 10 in Austin, visit soleilschool.com. And now the news. Security fixes that address the problems Mt. Gox blamed for the loss of bitcoins were put into place Wednesday. PC World reports that the software, known as Bitcoin QT, has been renamed as Bitcoin Core. The rebranding is intended to show that it runs the core infrastructure of the cryptocurrency's transaction and verification network. According to the release notes, the latest version of Bitcoin software contains more than a half dozen fixes for transaction malleability. A surprise appearance Tuesday at the 2014 TED conference in Vancouver, Canada. Brian Hagen has this story. NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, by use of a remote-controlled satellite robot, appeared on stage to address the conference goers, outlining why he took the risk to make off with 1.7 million documents from the agency. I don't want to harm my government. I want to help my government. Snowden told the crowd that stopping terrorism is not the goal of the NSA's massive surveillance program. The bottom line is that terrorism has always been what we in the intelligence world would call a cover for action. Terrorism is something that provokes an emotional response that allows people to rationalize authorizing uh, powers and programs that they wouldn't give other bodies. Snowden concluded his talk by saying, We don't have to give up our privacy to have good government. We don't have to give up our liberty to have security. I'm Brian Hagan reporting for the Liberty Beat. The Obama administration won't give up the fight on climate change. On Wednesday, the White House revealed a new website serving as a one-stop location for a massive amount of climate change data. The LA Times reports the information contained on the site had previously been spread across the websites of numerous government agencies. The website is President Obama's latest move to deliver on his promise to use his executive authority to confront climate change despite congressional inaction. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering ProPure water filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water as well. Find them in Austin at 1904 Guadalupe Street 
or online at bravenewbookstore.com. And from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online at massappealinc.com. And from Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. You're listening to The Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Wednesday, Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen stated the U.S. Central Bank would likely end its bond-buying program by the fall and begin raising interest rates in the first half of 2015. Speaking at her first news conference as chair, Yellen discussed the bond-buying program known as quantitative easing. Yellen stated that the Fed planned to wait a considerable time before pushing up interest rates. When further questioned how long this would actually take, the chairwoman's answer? Six months. The General Counsel in the Office of the Director of National Intelligence told the U.S. Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board that a recently revealed foreign surveillance program is specific with its targets and not bulk data collection. Robert Lidd is quoted here, getting a whole bunch of communications, hanging on to them, and then figuring out later what you want. This is not that. This is a situation where we figure out what we want, and we get that specifically. Lit was responding to a Washington Post report on the Mystic program, which reportedly is capable of recording 100% of a foreign country's telephone calls. You've been listening to The Liberty Beat. Remember, freeing your mind is freeing our world. It's The Onion Radio News. God loses his decision-making coin. This is Doyle Redland reporting. The Lord God has confirmed that he has misplaced his special decision-making coin. The coin, a relatively unremarkable 1972 nickel, has been used almost daily by the Supreme Being for over four billion years for the purpose of determining everything from the direction of the wind to the outcome of history. The visibly distraught God added, I have no idea where I put it. I remember flipping it last night for a couple in Monroe, Michigan, who were trying to conceive a child, but I haven't seen it since. God also said he hopes to locate the coin before 7.15 Thursday morning when United Flight 251 takes off from Seattle with actress Dixie Carter on board. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition, kicking off hour number two in studio tonight. It's Daryl and Mark, and you can call in, take control, talk about whatever it is that you want. The Pro XPN toll free call in line is 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We also have Skype. Username is lrn.fm. We do ask that you send a contact request first. That way you can send a message. Let us know what it is that you want to talk about when you call in on Skype. And back to the phones and the fun. William in Madison, Wisconsin wants to talk about government representatives. William, what's on your mind? Well, not only does it kind of... uh on the whole idea of representation. I mean, if I was a lawyer, I'd be offended by the notion that somebody can be a representative without the explicit consent of the representative. But, um, you know, this whole tinkering with hows and the whos and the whats and the where and the why and all this, it, it, you know, your earlier caller, I think it was Dave out of, uh, I I forget where, but, um, he was. He asked the question: Does that does that readdress the nature of government? And and it doesn't. It skims the surface. I mean, it, it's like uh, all the tinkerings of the old uh, geo system models of the what's actually the solar system um, models of the planets and such. And so they kept on tinkering with that without reassessing the premise. And you know, really, the the, the whole idea of can you have too much liberty is is, is kind of a misnomer. I mean, really, it's, a, it's not about, it, you know, it is about that, but it's about control. Yeah, but that's right exactly now, what it know, is. I, would, I, would I mean, challenge. it's it's like a farmer saying about the chickens, should I let them out for an extra hour every day? I mean, 
who the hell yeah. in, in the case of human beings yeah. who the hell are you to say whether yeah. what you know my human liberty is if i haven't harmed anyone if i haven't aggressed on anyone else's rights then you have no right to aggress upon mine oh but oh but you might so so this is for your own protection right. don't you know? anything you could know, happen you, right where your where your proverbial seatbelt um you know, the, the 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 whole notion it needs to be re uh, re readdressed and and what what i would challenge every status to consider is the uh, the removal of responsibility from one to own themselves has some repercussions because we don't live in a uh, a, a linear situation. I mean, it's really it's not as straightforward as uh, we make these rules and we all go by them. That has an effect on how we behave in everyday life, and you know, people are following this obvious pattern uh, when somebody throws trash on the ground, no one else feels obliged to tell that person they're out of line uh, because, oh, well, that's, you know, that's, yeah, the, that's job the, the, right? that's yeah, well, the job of the authorities, right? someone else's problem. Well, I don't I own that, that, you know, six inch by six inch plot of grass that they just threw something yeah. on. So it's not my responsibility. Yeah, not, not, not my responsibility, right? Um, yeah, okay, that's, that's fine if, if, you, if you choose to live that way. Uh, the problem is, you know, folks right now aren't aren't really challenged to own themselves, and in a in a in a completely anarchist system, what you still have, what you then have a gap in, is not a power gap. That idea of a power gap is is a story that's told by by the rulers. Uh, you get rid of the virus, and the organism thrives. Period. Um, without that, then you have institutions that arise that. Give people a, a a a way of expressing in a formal manner. Uh, I own myself, and that means that I own my actions. That means I own the consequences of my actions. And I think we've all known this since grade school. I mean, the the, the phrase is like "own up to it." Uh, that's a real thing, you know. Or take it back when you when you say a, a a bad name to somebody, or you hit them on the playground. Take it back, right? Uh, I'm sorry, I take it back. I didn't mean to, right? Or if you crash your car against somebody. Um, you have to own up to that, and that's why we get insurance because we all make mistakes, et cetera. So all these little problems that people think are are some kind of an impetus for for monopolistic violence uh, are really not a problem. We've solved these for centuries in ways that are much more productive uh, than having some kind of preconceived notion of what kinds of rules and the ifs and the ands and the fors and the whys and the wheres and the hows. Let's just figure all those out ahead of time. That's nonsense. Uh, and we're learning that's nonsense because uh, now we have folks who are going to, you know, just make up anything under the sun. You know, don't smoke your e-cigarette. Uh, why not have a law against eating while you're driving? Oh, because nobody would want that because everyone wants to eat while they're driving. Well, okay, actually, so William, in a lot of places, in, in a lot of places, they have laws against what they call distracted driving. And the term distracted driving is never defined. So it could be something as you know small as well I saw William eating a cheeseburger while he was driving and he looked to be counting the sesame seeds on his bun and he swerved 3 inches to the left. My my uncle got a ticket for for eating while driving in California. So, I mean, these things do happen. William, I, I generally agree with what you say. Here's the one critique I've got. Um, if you could get everything you wanted without using the word anarchy, would you get it? Would you go? Would you make that trade? Semantics aren't the issue. The issue Semantics is, absolutely uh, are the issue, sir. You are a national radio, and the only thing people can hear is your voice saying words. Semantics are the True. issue. Semantics, I guess, in that context, yes, they're the issue. Yeah, um, that's the issue. The, the, when, the only acceptable when, when you say the term for, anarchy, people say to themselves, well, we can't live without government, but you're not talking about living without government. You're talking about people okay, having voluntary government. access to the kind of governing yeah. that they wish to have. Yeah, I mean, government doesn't exist in the first place. Um, you know, that's part of the problem. Just like the divine rule of kings was once an, uh, an acceptable uh, idea, uh, the notion that one man can govern another is 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 foolish, um, and and of course that level of discourse I don't think will ever arrive uh, there in the near term. Uh, so so you know going along with the the semantics of a, of a free state, I, I think that's uh, the the 
the sort of bridge um, to doing away with that whole discussion altogether. Um, free a free state, you know, going along with the free state project, that sort of thing. Um, getting getting this group of people to derive their revenue from voluntary means is really the end game uh, in, in in the short run, and it's achievable. If they provide value added services, they can form contracts. Um, surface rights are a well known concept. And if they instead were own their property as as uh, you know a contractual uh, ownership and and do as such as a renter does, uh, then they have contractual obligation to live up to certain terms. And if they don't, well, you know, then the contracts uh, work accordingly. So um, I think you know that initial transition to having a, a voluntary uh, a voluntary state where they have to then own it as property. Uh, is a necessary step uh, to start the evolution, right? William, thank you for the call. One thing that I thought was uh, uh, you know prescient about what he was saying was is look, you can only give away the rights that you have. Yes, I can only give to the state the right to protect me. I can't give to the state the right to protect you. I can only give to the state the right to um, you know collect my garbage. Not to collect your garbage. Right. If five people in town, if there's six people in town and five of them say, let's collect the garbage, and the sixth person says no, that person has a right to take their own garbage to the dump. Yes. And, uh, you know, I'm using garbage here is just because all these government services are the same. Now, you know, many people will say, oh, but what about the military? The, nobody will pay into the military. Well, People that, yes, there would be people that would pay into the military. Well, when you look at income taxes, which is the uh, you know the vast majority of taxation here in the United States, you see that uh, there's only 144 million uh, 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 you know tax returns filed out of 310 million people. That's fewer than half. Right. Um, you see that fewer than half of those people actually pay taxes, and less than half of that goes towards the military. You're talking about a small percentage of the population actually funds the military today. It's nothing different. Yeah. The, well, the only difference would be that it would then be voluntarily funded, not funded through the threat of force. And I, I, I want to touch on this thing that government doesn't exist, that government is made up. We'll get to that when we come back. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm. This time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. 
it called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com you can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live in studio tonight. It's Daryl and Mark. And we're taking your phone calls about whatever's on your mind. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. That is the Pro XPN toll-free call-in line. We also have Skype. Send a contact request to lrn.fm, and then we will accept that. Then you can just go ahead and call in. But we would appreciate you sending a message, letting us know what it is that you want to talk about and again, that's the Skype LRN.FM or toll free 855-450-3733. At coffee.freetalklive.com, you can get a free pound of the best of the best coffee. It's Buzzbox. It's shade grown, which means that if you have uh, sort of the acid reflux from drinking coffee, shade grown coffee addresses this issue. Generally, people that have that problem don't experience the same thing with shade grown coffee. It's 100% organic which is important with an absor- uh, absorbent crop, crop like coffee, which is often grown in you know countries where we have no idea the conditions and the kind of pesticides and you know even lead and the gasoline. This is important stuff. But Buzzbox is um, of, it's competitively priced with other high end coffees. But what they do that I think is so uh, incredible is they really do. Um, care about the people that grow their coffee. They issue microloans to people to enter their coffee co-op. These are families um, who are able to live a better life and break the general uh, g- uh, generational chains of poverty. Also, they allow you know p- people like Free Talk Live to get folks like you, coffee drinkers who listen to us, on board to help buy coffee and issue microloans to other folks doing other things who, you know, maybe they don't want to grow coffee. Maybe they want to make shoes or get a sewing machine and, you know, they want to help their community. These things are incredibly powerful. We're trying to get a a thousand listeners to help us to buy simply buying your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Help us buy you know, drinking coffee, and we will get a hundred microloans um, issued to people in poor countries. Just get started now by getting your free pound of coffee. Try it out. Coffee.freetalklive.com. You pay the shipping. You can can cancel your subscription after the for- first order. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. Now, the last caller that we had, William, towards the end of his call, made the statement that government doesn't exist. And I would contend that that is an absolutely false statement, that government most certainly does exist. 
every family that exists in the world is a government. There are rules that are established. Some are you know known by all. Some are written. Some are unwritten. But there is most certainly government that does happen and does exist in every family. This radio show, to some extent has a government yeah your rules are the rules are established and you follow the rules the the person sitting in this chair the first seat the the chair that i'm sitting in right now runs the show yep this person makes the rules right i told you beforehand you're picking the you're picking the 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 show prep tonight and you pick the 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 thing because that's ultimately you are the decision maker if i say you've got to do something well i'm gonna have to come come around there and run that seat right because i could just reach over and hit the mute button and then nobody would hear mark right until mark calms down (laughs) and you know So there is a government that does exist on this radio show. There's a government that exists within every family. There's a government that exists within every interaction that every person has throughout the day. So government is basically it comes down to ownership. I govern my car because I it's mine. Um, I decide who drives it, who doesn't. I've got the deed to it, that kind of thing. Essentially, what the caller is saying is something to the effect of, of look, these people, if if they were operating in any other way, would simply be the most successful gang in a given geographic area. And he's right. He's 100% right. Um, you know, is government all in our minds? Sure it is. It's who we choose to listen to. The government doesn't own the land. They may control it because you allow them to, but they don't have deed or title to it. Right. And one thing that is really important is that there is a difference between a government and a state. And that's something that a lot of people never really pay attention to or think about. They just think, well, the government is the state or the government is. is the nation. But as I said, you know, every family is a government, but not every family is a state. It's true. So back to the phones, actually to Skype, we have Aga. I I hope I am pronouncing this right. Aga calling in on Skype. You are on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Thanks. Well, I go by Aga, actually, but... um. I wanted to discuss manufacturer.com, if that's okay. What is it? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, the connection isn't really great, um, Aga. Um, s- say it again. I, I was hoping to discuss moneypacktrader.com. It's an agorist business that trades bitcoins to uh, U.S. dollars and yep, U.S. Been, dollars to bitcoins. They've been an advertiser on Free Talk Live uh, through recorded ads, yes. Awesome. So I just wanted, I was hoping to discuss like how their business works and if anyone was interested, they can check it out more at the at their website, moneypacktrader.com. Okay, or, well, um, real quick, um, we don't generally do sort of call-in commercials, but I'm, I, I am sort of interested. I know they do something different than most businesses do. Oh, I went ahead and dropped her due to the, you know, oh. repeated mention of an advertise. I, I, I know that they pay for advertisement, but, you know, we, we don't really let callers call in to generally, do an advertisement. Generally not, but, um, you know, and, and especially with that, uh, the audio wasn't uh, yeah. wasn't so hot. But I haven't used Money Pack Trader, but I have talked to people who have used it, and it's supposed to be a pretty good way to get Bitcoins anonymously. So that's, uh, that's their unique selling proposition is that you can get Bitcoins without having to, uh, you know, uh, you know re- reveal your identity. So I think it... You know, it, it it's a it's a niche in the marketplace. And I think it's worth exploring. Yeah, certainly. And so, speaking of you know, we let, let's go back to the whole idea of governments and specifically secession. Mark, what are your thoughts on secession? Well, secession is a pretty easy one. Um, I mean, it seems to me if you can enter into any governmental situation, and that's the idea is is that we're all in this voluntary system. Um, The people want this and the people want that is the things that they'll say. Um, 
you know, it's it seems to me patently ridiculous. I don't want lots of things that my government does. There's people in Crimea right now that are being forced to, you know, essentially to have their governmental system moved over to Russia. They don't want that. That's ridiculous. People should be able to secede not just in geographic areas, because I do think that Crimea should be able to secede and move to Russia if that's what they want to do in a in a political sense. And, and that's what nearly 70% of people living in Crimea wanted to do. Apparently. Uh, 95% of 80% is roughly 70%. I'd like to see I'd, I'd like to see a, a, an election done without uh, Russian troops on the ground. But it's uh, you know at the same time I think people should be able to secede from Crimea individually, their land. Absolutely. And apparently secession is popular in Europe. We'll talk about that when we come back. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. If you're looking for work, you know the math. There are many more applicants than openings, so you need to stand out, not blend into the blah, blah, blah your interviewer is hearing from your competition. Here's a tip. In your interview, you will be judged more by the questions you ask than the answers you give. Yes, do anticipate the obvious job interview questions and prepare concise, insightful, glass half full sounding responses. And you should interview your interviewer. Seem genuinely curious about what will help get results. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. You want to cut through the clutter. For more tips for job seekers and making all the other conversations you have more productive hit survivalspeech.com i'm holland cook 
If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can call in, talk about whatever is on your mind. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can also use Skype. The Skype username is lrn.fm. And generally, Skype sounds better. Occasionally, there might be a connection problem to where Skype doesn't sound exactly as wonderful as we would like it to. Gremlins in the tubes. Yes, gremlins in the tubes. But those are the ways that you can get interactive and get your thoughts on the air live during the show. So Free Talk Live is a little unusual in the talk radio sphere. We aren't just talk radio hosts. We're activists, too. All of us picked up our lives and moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. The Free State Project is a uh, it's a project to get 20,000 people who sign up to move when... We reached the number 20,000, and I think we're at something like 16,000, thereabouts, at this point. 15,500-something was the last number I saw. It's worth checking, but uh, it's moving on up. And, uh, you know, it's going concern. People are moving every single week for the Free State Project. And it's it's fascinating. Once we get here, um, you know, the claim is, is that you'll exert the pro- fullest practical effort toward the creation of a society where the maximum role of government is the protection of life, liberty, and property. And... People are doing all kinds of different things, including setting up the Porcupine Freedom Festival. It's a large camping festival here in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. If you're thinking about the idea of moving for the Free State Project, the Porcupine Freedom Festival is a great way to do it. You, it, The only way to describe the Porcupine Freedom Festival is epic. It's epic. There's, You've never experienced anything like this. It's, think of it as Burning Man of the Liberty Movement. It's totally worth checking out. Go to free, uh, let's see, porkfest.com to, uh, to sign up. It's just a great camping event, all kinds of family things, parties, karaoke, lots of speakers, vendors, dances. Porkfest with a C, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. And I've already got my campsite lined up, so I'll be there. Mark, I know you will be there. Oh, yeah. And about, what, 1,300-some-odd of our closest libertarian friends? Yeah, maybe maybe even more than that. It's hard to say. But uh, Free Talk Live will be broadcasting every night at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. And back to the phones and the fun. Nathan calling in on Skype. Nathan, what's on your mind? Hello? Hello, Nathan. Hello, Daryl. You are on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Well, you were talking about semantics, and I just had to jump in. I like to use uh, I like the bad Quakers distinction, where the state is the institution and government is the people. So, um, try to try to explain that uh, distinction uh, for me. I love Bad Quakers uh, podcast, and you can hear him at lrn.fm. I don't agree with him on every single little semantic point, um, even though we're both Quakers. <laughs> Well, I already had this distinction before I heard him, and he just uh, kind of made it, cemented it in my mind. Um, so the state is the uh, the state of mind. It's like the um, the the belief of people that this this institution should exist and should do these things, and it's legitimate. Whereas the government refers to people in this case, like I don't know George Bush or a bureaucrat, the particular individuals who are carrying out the uh, um, the dictates of this institution. So um, I have somebody who regularly uh, sends emails. He's a longtime listener of the show. He's called in before. Um, maybe he's just sent emails. I don't really actually remember. He's been he's so much a part of my life because of the emails he's sent over the years. Um, his name's Jet, and what he uh, the distinction he makes is never use the term government. Never say government because it takes it out of uh, it takes it out of context. The fact is, it's the people calling themselves government, or um, because that these are just people. Because government's a scary word. People are scared of government. People are scared of the state, but they're not scared of people. Um, you know, I was having a conversation with my son driving down the road, trying to explain to him, you know, uh, what what a police officer would do if somebody didn't pull over, 
and ultimately a police officer will execute you over yeah, isn't that the um not pulling over yeah isn't that scenario i, I forget is that the aggression principle i forget what michael dean called it <laughs> yeah I, i'm that, not sure yeah that escalation where you pull, he pulls you over and then you don't give him show him your license and then he pulls his gun and you pull your gun and turns into a gunfight and then it's all you know goes downhill. One thing I can tell you is uh, you pull a gun on a state worker and it is it is going to go downhill. It's going to get pear-shaped real quick. So the And also there's a third uh, thing floating around here in this discussion, which is the, the kind of order that would exist in a free environment or a free society. And uh, maybe confusingly, I like to use the term law for that instead of government. It sounds like you like to use government for that. I'm not exactly certain of what your uh, the distinction here is. Restate it. Nathan? Where the person in the first chair gets to set the rules and it's voluntarily agreed to. And, uh, and, you, and you don't call that the state. That's uh, that I would call that law, like voluntary law. I, I just, the, you know, those are just rules. Those are just agreements between people. And mostly people can get along that way pretty easily. I wouldn't call that law. What I would call law is, is uh, the non-aggression principle. What's pretty obvious is that people generally, people people know what fair is. Now, they, they may disagree on what it is, but they fair is something that's it's universal, um, is this belief in, in sort of fairness. The non-aggression principle, if I strike you, it's you're going to likely to strike me back and or do something to, to to get me back in the same way if i drop a rock off of the uh, uh, off of a cliff it, that rock's going to fall down those are laws they're they're immutable essentially whereas rules people are going to certainly make up their own rules but they make up all kinds of different rules there's different rules at my house than there are at ian's house uh, that's certainly true and uh, you know that you know that's not a bad thing i just think when people it's easy to get confused over these terms like law or government because they, they mean so many different things. It's like, like in Europe, for example, when they talk about the fall of a government, they don't literally mean that there's you know, chaos in the streets. They just mean that they, you know, a particular uh, uh, elected the, – The current parliament has gone out of, uh, out of power, yeah. if you will. Nathan, we're having problems with your internet connection. Skype keeps saying that you get disconnected, so had to drop you, but I, I would have loved to continue the conversation there because it, it is something that a lot of times people don't really catch the minutiae between government and state and governance and law and rule of law and rule and law. You know, th th there's all these words that sound like they mean the, the same, same thing, thing right. but they all mean slightly different things. And and to some extent, I realize I'm taking license with the language when I say something like, um, you know, government is what people want. Government is an organization. They're meant to protect you. That's what people want. Um, and they do want government. It's obvious. All you have to do is talk to people and you'll you'll find relatively quick they want an organization that protects them. Now, the question is, is this a monopoly organization that protects you, like the state? I realize that's me, you know, taking license with the language. I'm just using one of the words out there to describe it because I think the state is a scarier term. That's why I choose to do that. But people don't necessarily, when, once you can reveal to them, look, you can have government without having an organization that claims a monopoly privilege on government. And that, you know, 300 years ago, when the Quakers arrived in on Puritan soil, the Puritans executed them and cut off their ears and uh, tarred and feathered them and did a variety of things to them because they didn't believe that people of different religions could live in the same landmass. Now people of different religions live on the same street. So you're telling me that people can't have different protection agencies that live in the same street, that somehow um, you know, the marketplace can provide plumbers to people who don't all have the same plumber on the same street, but they can't provide trash pickup or police services, fire services, or a variety of other things. You, who who lives in the fantasy land now? Well, and it totally denies history because for 2,000 years, Ireland was one of these polycentric civilizations, as was much of the Middle East. More on this when we come back. This is Free Talk Live. 
everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at bitcoingeneralstore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. You gotta see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Does advertising on the Genesis Communications radio network actually bring positive results? Let's ask Thomas Baldrick from Free Strike Guy. Thomas, talk about customer service at GCN. GCN is extraordinary in how they take care of their customers. The bottom line, Freeze Dry Guy keeps advertising on GCN because it Works. If you'd like to experience unbelievable customer service, call Lee Wickenhauser at 877-996-4327, extension 107. I'm David Cordeni, President and CEO of Cigna. We're proud to support the March of Dimes by walking in the March for Babies. It feels great to know that the money we raise funds life-saving research and programs that improve the health of babies. With your help, we can make this year better than ever. Join Cigna and our coworkers across the country in March for Babies to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthier babies. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org and march to help our babies. Thank you. Free Talk Live, the show where anyone can call about whatever they want. And we do mean anyone. He bought a radiation monitor on eBay for oh, like no. $10. you got to be kidding me. A Geiger counter? Yeah. Okay. So I said, so let's put some batteries in it and get it fired up. <laughs> so we fired it up. We started walking You guys around. know how to spend an evening. Yeah, right. A couple of beers. <laughs> Hang out yeah. with a Geiger counter. We were making readings of 10 Rentkins <gasps> outside the house. What's that mean? Is that bad? Yeah, it is. Is that yeah, dangerous? Guys, yeah, it is. Really? Rentkins. Now, where's the life-threatening one? A uh, hundred Rentkins. I'm really concerned now because I've seen... But you weren't concerned there. before you got the radiation meter out. Right, right, right. Now you're definitely going to get cancer, Harry. What's the detector going to do for you, though? Really? I mean, It'll if you're going to die, you're going to die, right? The guy that just called in about radiation, uh, first of all, uh, like, you got a Geiger counter off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Live on a Sunday night. Yes, I, I realize that that's something that you're not very used to is live programming on a weekend at night. But we are live all seven nights of the week. Things could have been kind of bad here, uh, Daryl. So Brian and Stephanie. Stephanie uh, went away on a vacation. Uh, Brian, I'm not exactly sure where he is, but he wasn't able to come in this evening either. They warned me last week. Uh, I probably should have given you more warning than I did. And then I took ill on Friday. Now, I don't sound great, 
But the question I had to answer for myself today is, is because I can call in and I can tell our syndicate, hey, run a recorded show. But Free Talk Live has been live for seven nights a week or every night um, that we were meant to broadcast, including, you know, we even had internet shows uh, before we started doing the Sunday show. A Christmas, of ago. New Year's, Easter, Fourth of July, yep. Groundhog Day, Arbor Day. It doesn't matter. We've been here. And if I called in sick on a day that Brian and Stephanie weren't going to be here, that was going to stop that run. And I just wasn't willing to do it. So I, you know, begged you to come on in, applied you with a couple of bucks, and uh, here and you are. And food. Yep, and and, and yeah, actually brought you a meal. You know, I mean, I know you're you were midst, in the midst of uh, doing a show and cutting ads and stuff, so you needed you needed food. And I just want people to know that look, Free Talk Live's committed to bringing you live content seven nights a week, and that means the radio station upon which you are listening to Free Talk Live. You may not agree with everything we say, but the fact is, they're committed to bringing you live content, too, because they carry Free Talk Live. The vast majority of shows out there are not going to be live. Most of the uh, the shows that are sort of, co- uh, you know, spe- uh, weekend programming, weekend programming tends is to generally like, not live. Yeah, you're talking about gardening shows and stuff like that. A lot of those, uh, you know, a lot of the, uh, the home builder shows, those things can be recorded a week in advance, oftentimes. Some of them are live, and that's awesome, but those are generally during the day. I mean... You know, you're not going to be coming in at 7 to 10 if you're doing a gardening show. So those evening shows, rarely are those live on the radio. Well, and then the big names that always have a weekend show. They're at home with the family. That's their best of from during the week that yep. some producer put together. Indeed, it's true. Um, another thing that uh, I think on a Sunday night, when you look at Saturday and Sunday night in our time slots, there are... Uh, there's Free Talk Live produces a show on both Saturday and Sunday, 7 to 10. In that time slot, there's one other show on either night that produces live content. And so if, you're sh- if your radio station doesn't carry Free Talk Live or that other show, whatever that might be for that evening, you're listening to something recorded. And, and or people- sports. Yeah, sports could be live. Sunday night sports, do you think there's yes. much of that? There's college basketball happening Fo- right tends, now. Football tends to be on Sunday nights, right? Uh, pro football is Sundays, yes. But pro football is only on, um, you know, generally on what, nine weeks a year or something like that. And uh, the like station has 20. Keep, yeah. 20? Pro football? Yes. No way. Preseason starts in August. Super Bowl is in February. Yeah, but generally, um, I, I don't think that most I, – I think it was 14 games or something like that. Then 16, 16 games plus four preseason plus the uh, playoffs. Okay. Well, something has to be played the other you know, yeah. 40 weeks out of the year, and that's Free Talk Live. So, yeah, I, I applaud any station that's bringing, uh, bringing live content, be it Free Talk Live or anything else, because that's really what people want on the radio. Most people want to also get ahead in life, and nearly all of Free Talk Live's listeners would like to persuade more people toward the ideas of freedom. But did you know that some of the solutions that uh, people claim will help grow you in the area of persuasion actually backfire? The good news is that 70 years of science shows that even the best leaders can be made better if only they practice in ways that actually work. Dr. Matt Barney, founder of LeaderAmp, has coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the last 20 years using the latest science science of what works around persuading people, convincing the people of ideas. Dr. Barney has drafted blueprints for a new smartphone application to measure each person, tailor a customized developmental plan, and some of which would be um, you can access through your smartphone to be able to use these tips uh, you know, right in your, your daily life. His vision is to build a community who can access approaches that really work and support each other's development as leaders. It's a community, and people are getting better all the time. And you can get involved with LeaderAmp, and I've already paid for this service. I'm, I'm delighted by it. I want to get the testing. I want to see how to be better at convincing people of things. And I went... I just went to to leaderamp.freetalklive.com. I picked one of the the choices on the side there, the Indiegogo campaign. Now, it's not like maybe this will happen and maybe it won't. It's in development right now, but it's going to happen and you're going to get what you pay for. It's leaderamp.freetalklive.com to amp your leadership. Leaderamp.freetalklive.com. Back to the phones. Another mark, this mark in Roswell, Georgia, 
wants to talk about out of control government. Mark, are you in favor of or do you oppose <laughs> out of control government? Hello, Mark. Government. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, restate your okay. six. Yes, I oppose out of these, this out of control government. And first of all, what we must do, uh, every citizen and patient should uh, take, uh, they need to get active. Uh, this is an individual um, thing that if you love freedom and liberty in our way of life, we need to all. Uh, make an effort to call your sen- a senator, your congressman, and even come to the um, protest we're having in November. There's a two million biker ride um, that is coming to Washington to protest the out of control government. So, and first of just all, just generally, or to, something specific about the out of control government? Uh, specifically, you know, with Eric Holder, uh, who lied lied to Congress and keeps undermining our laws. Um, needs to go. He should be uh, impeached uh, and uh, indicted for lying to Congress. Well, I, I would uh, contend also. that every member of Congress needs to be impeached <laughs> for failing to uphold their oath of office, which is to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against and, enemies, foreign and domestic. Right. And one of the things where they have failed to do this is by allowing the NSA to continue operating, by having military in, what is it, somewhere around 157 different nations around the world, yeah, I think it's nearly 1,000 yeah. military bases. They're creating enemies around the world. They're spying on everyone in this country and pretty much everyone outside of the country, and they wonder why people, quote-unquote, hate us. Well, yeah, that's a great fact that you, you arise. Uh, yeah, the NSA was used by the Obama administration um, and uh, the Chicago uh, gang to uh, spy on everyone. And this, they spied on the uh, the people. They spied on the Congress. They spied on the Senate. They spied on the Supreme Court. And they probably have some dirt on these folks. They probably have uh, threatened to uh, uh, let the uh, people know of the their their inner, uh, you know the their life, uh, what they've done in their life that isn't probably uh, um, uh, very good, such as Senator Menendez um, going to the Dominican Republic and hiring underage prostitutes. Okay, oh, um, they also have probably got some dirt on Harry Reid. Um, that's why he, you know. Whatever the president says, he does. This is the scariest um, thing. By the way, the NSA was yeah. doing their warrantless spy, spying under the Bush administration, too. And so. the Clinton administration, yeah. and but, the other Bush, and Reagan. But I just want to point out that this is the most dangerous thing about this. Is A lot of people say, well, if, you don't, if you're not doing anything, you don't have anything to be concerned with. Bull crap! Because the NSA... Uh, you know who has the knowledge has the power the nsa knows who which uh, politicians are doing what and you know politician is just another synonym for liar and thief i mean so you know generally these people are have done something uh, this is one of the reasons that ron paul was such a frustrating politician to them because the guy didn't do anything he he was a boy scout and they couldn't get him so right exactly uh, also they use with the information they gather they also use the irs uh to go after these individuals or threatening to uh, expose their uh, insider trading that uh, most of these uh, uh, politicians do in Washington. They come to Washington with a you know basis, basic salary, and they, they leave Washington as millionaires. Millionaires. With all the inside, yeah, with all the insider criminal uh, trading. It, this is just, it's out of control. We need no, to it's, go to Washington. It's not criminal anymore. They, they, they made it okay for themselves to do it. Uh, it's not it's not criminal no, no. anymore because they made it legal. <laughs> well, no, no, my, my point is we need to, number one, just, you know, I know you probably uh, live back when um, uh, Nixon and uh, his attorney general, uh, George Mitchell, this is, uh, this is, this is, uh, this is, uh, history is repeating itself again. Uh, he was arrogant, George Mitchell, the attorney general, was arrogant, as arrogant as uh, um, Harder. And Mark, we, thank okay. you very much for the call. Gotta go to Eric, Ken, Jared, hang on the line. We'll get you in hour number three. 
Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. Look, kid, when guys like us walk into a facility in the morning, we can smell a problem. No one needs to hand us a work order. We already know it. Today, for instance, we need a new gearbox, six globe valves, and a dozen ballasts. And when I smell a problem, Granger smells that I smell a problem. They help me keep this place up and running. Now that's the kind of smell I like. The sweet smell of success. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burgridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, March 21st, 2014. Radio VR News. Air teams are coming up empty-handed this morning as the search for debris from that missing Malaysian jetliner continues. Correspondent Ross Simpson reports the U.S. is now lending a hand in the search efforts in that area. The U.S. is not leading the search, but is providing two long-range surveillance aircraft to assist five Australian aircraft. We have a P-3 and a P-8 dedicated to that mission. Pentagon spokesman Rear Admiral John Kirby says there is no timeline for the mission to end. I think the president made this clear. Secretary Hagel has certainly made it clear we're, we're going to, to stay with this as long as the Malaysians need our help. A Norwegian freighter is assisting in the search. China says it's sending three of its warships. I'm Ross Simpson. And the head of Airbus, the world's biggest passenger jet, says there ought to be a better way to track aircraft. Correspondent Rita Foley has more. Fabrice Rigier says Airbus is working to develop black boxes that could be more easily found if a plane crashes or disappears, like Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. He says finding the black boxes is crucial to the investigation following an air disaster. He thinks automated messaging between the aircraft and the ground should be more frequent, and he says that's already possible with existing technology. I'm Rita Foley. In a pair of military sex assault cases, correspondent Michael Biesecker reports Army General Jeffrey Sinclair has been sentenced following a plea agreement on a sexual assault court-martial, but he won't be serving any jail time. Judge Paul sentenced Sinclair to a letter of reprimand and a $20,000 fine, as well as having to pay about $4,000 in restitution to repay the government for the travel charges he made on illegitimate trips to visit his mistress. Meanwhile, at the Naval Academy, a former football player for the school has been found not guilty of sexually assaulting a female student at an off-campus party in 2012. Correspondent Jessica Gresco reports a judge said witness testimony in the case against Josh Tate was clouded by alcohol consumption and the passage of time. The judge also said that the prosecution didn't prove its case against Tate. 
The woman at the center of the case testified that she didn't remember the details of being at the party. She had consumed a lot of alcohol, and the next day she saw rumors on social media that a woman had engaged in sex with multiple partners, and she confronted Josh Tate and asked him whether or not they had had sex. She says he said yes, and that's the beginning of the case against Josh Tate. New York City's gas utility says it has made payments to 87 victims of last week's East Harlem building explosion. Correspondent Warren Levinson has more. The local utility Con Edison says it started making payments to residents a day after the explosion that killed eight people and injured more than 60. Investigators have found leaks in a 125-year-old gas main in front of one of the demolished buildings, but they haven't yet established a cause of the blast. In addition to the two buildings knocked down, several others were damaged, requiring residents to be at least temporarily relocated. The payments have gone to survivors and others displaced from their homes. Con Edison is not saying how much is being paid. Warren Levinson, New York. And ironically, no funeral is being planned for Westboro Church preacher Fred Phelps, who died Wednesday night at the age of 84. Steve Coleman tells us why. Margie Phelps says in laying her father to rest... There will be no eulogy, there will be no funeral, there will be no graveside service. She says members of the Westboro Baptist Church he founded will... Put the body in the ground. Period. She says funerals are considered idolatry by his church that declared God hates gays. The name Fred Phelps is synonymous throughout the world with Obey God. Margie Phelps vowed that the church's pickets and protests will continue. I'm Steve Coleman. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Like what you hear? You can always find us on the web at voiceofrussia.com slash US or catch us on Facebook and Twitter at VOR America. We are Radio VR. I was doing my regular 11 o'clock security sweep around the perimeter of my house when I noticed a couple of young people having intercourse in the front seat of a car out in the street. So I ran inside and I grabbed my video camera. As you can imagine, I stood in those bushes for over 20 minutes watching these two degenerates grind against each other and I'm thinking this behavior is simply unacceptable. Now. If you think this is an isolated incident, you are dead to rights wrong. I have 36 hours of footage to prove it that I have personally collected from sickos just around my own town. For example, I saw perverts having sex in swimming pools clearly visible from the roofs of adjacent buildings, on boats that anybody could see with a telescope, at night on the beaches where they can easily be watched by anyone hiding behind a fence wearing their night vision goggles. It's simply disgusting. This is the Onion News Network. Kicking off our number three in studio tonight, it's Daryl and Mark. And we are taking your calls about whatever's on your mind. 855 450 free. That's the Pro XPN toll free call in line. There's also Skype. The username is lrn.fm. And we're going now to Jared on Skype. Jared, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Yeah, I wanted to bring up the topic from last week of secession. But before I get to that really quick, Mark, you last night were questioning if New Hampshire had tobacco bars. They do. In 2010, the general court amended their smoking ban to allow for cigar bars. So they do have them now. Great. Um, The thing about secession, you know, people don't really look at it from a matter of what's better off. And I'm not here to say what's better for each person. But, I mean, I think if you look at the U.S. as a a whole, 
New Hampshire would probably be more free, obviously, if the federal government left them alone. Yeah, it's uh, it's rated by the Mercatus Center as being uh, the freest state uh, of, of all their sort of ratings over time. They've they've been in the top five every time, but uh, some of the times they've been first, and sometimes they haven't. Right, and when it comes to other places, I mean, just from my point of view and the things that I value, New York City, Hawaii, and California would probably be less free actually, if the federal government left, because they would just get out of control. But a lot of people really want that, you know, sort of, you know, close packed thing that um, New York City is going to provide or they're or they're into music or, uh, you know, show doing shows and, you know, they're actors or musicians or whatever. And they feel like they've got to be there. So um, if you can't play music for a living, that in and of itself is a, a lack of a certain sort of freedom. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But the issue that they brought up, uh, you guys had a caller who brought up Hawaii. And I always love when people bring that up because I think people make it sound like it was this perfect multi-island paradise and, you know, a little history to the place. It's a hotspot in the Earth's plate. So the first human being, as far as people can figure out, never stepped foot there until about the year 800. They came from to uh, Tahiti, I believe. Okay. And of course, as throughout human history, people generally leave tyranny to start their own version of tyranny. Yeah, that's, so that's that sounds exactly like human history. <laughs> <laughs> and well, basically, before the U.S. Uh, took it over, which they they did, um, you had each kingdom fighting over each other, and they had countless of wars. You had plans from you know one royal family to kidnap the son or daughter of the other island, and they were going to marry them, and you know mix the bloodline, if you will. And I mean, they really had a brutal history. So this idea that some people call, and a lot of libertarian people have made this argument about them that they that there is some free island paradise. It's just a bunch of crap. It really wasn't. Yeah, and I think it's not that. You know, that's true I, in a lot well, of some people will say things like you know they were fighting amongst themselves and that much is true and then the white man came along and was just better at fighting and and this is a true statement but that doesn't give um it doesn't give anybody the right to rule over somebody else you know it doesn't give them the right to rule over you know each other tyrannize each other it doesn't give the right for outsiders to come in and, and do the same thing and a lot of people don't realize or don't know that 21 years ago the u.s congress formally apologized to the peoples of Hawaii for overthrowing their kingdom, establishing a republic, and then overthrowing the republic to annex Hawaii into the United States of America. Even that, though, Daryl, who's they? A lot of people make it sound like there's a lot of natives over there. There's actually not anymore. A lot of Right, because a lot of them got killed by Americans. Well, and a lot of them, you know, they just, you know, mixed in with other cultures. I mean, there's actually very few natives over there as they want to see it. The problem is, is from my experience over there, is it's racism in a different manner. If they see a Filipino, oh, he's a local. You don't know that. He could have come off of the plane a week ago. But they just look at you and go, oh, he looks Asian. He looks a little bit, you know, Japanese, but not really. So, right, exactly. And, you know, if you talk to some people there who have lived there their entire life, they can tell you that there's really not very many natives left over there anymore. But I guess my point is just that there's really no right side to this stuff when a lot of people say, no, we don't want this bunch of rulers. We want our bunch of rulers. I mean, there's no right answer to it. I absolutely agree with that statement. There, You know, many times you can uh, we can muddy the waters about history all the way through and i think that it's um you know it's but really it comes down to it is is nobody has the right to force other people to do what they want them to do um unless that person has you know violated somebody else's rights in the process and it's it's just it's just that's what that's the way it is and so the fact that one culture might have subjugated another culture at some point i don't know what to do about it the land that i'm that my house is on i'm sure at some point or another belonged to a tribe of abenaki indians but I wouldn't know how to find one of them, and I wouldn't know whether or not I have some Abenaki Indian blood in me. So Hold I, on. You did one of these DNA tests. It should have told you if you had Native American. It was very nonspecific. And Native American is, you know, by no means speaks of one particular tribe. Right, but it should sort of help you narrow it down to, That's as you far know, as like, it goes. from whence did my ancestor come? Like, was it— an ancestor in 
you know, South Carolina? Was it an ancestor in Kentucky? Was no. it an ancestor in New York? They can't even tell me that. They can't even tell me which continent it was, whether it was uh, Asian or uh, Native American. It was, you know, they're not even that specific. Yeah, and you know that that's kind of that kind of goes back to my whole point that people make it sound like it's this notion that this group of people came over, but then they're referring to themselves as a group when that's not. I mean, who's they? I mean, what group? When you look at it on a specific person by person basis, nobody wins. So I think their arguments as a whole are kind of a fraud. Yeah, it's it's kind of like this reparations thing. So there's a lot of people running around who are of a mixed blood. Uh, my my best friend in the world is, uh, you know, he's both black and white. He's so good. he gives himself money. Right. He should give himself some money in, uh, in order to pay for reparations. It's ridiculous. To himself. Uh, you know, the, yes. United, the United States government should pay everybody. He should give, um, you know, an amount of money equal to 40 acres and a mule to everybody who was a slave. Right. And, you know, you talk about the donor states and the recipient states that comes up on the show every now and then. Hawaii is probably the most recipient class, you know, state on the chart out there. I mean, really? they would probably be a third. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything is subsidized. They'd probably be a third world country like some of the other islands, the Solomon Islands and other places out there. So, but, I mean, Jared, let, let me ask this question. Do you not think that the people that live in Hawaii should be allowed to decide whether or not they are their own independent country, whether or not they would be a third world country is irrelevant, but should not the people living in Hawaii be allowed to decide if they are part of the United Most States of, the of America? Most people living in Hawaii are white. Exactly. That That's the thing, Daryl, is that it wouldn't even come Okay, down. I'm white, and I live in New Hampshire, and I don't want to be part of the U.S. government. So what does being white have to do with I'm being just, part of the U.S. government? Uh, you know, the, the secession problem is really interesting. So should 60% of the people in Hawaii be able to tell 40% of the people in Hawaii we're leaving the United States if 40% don't want to go? This is essentially what's happening in Crimea right now. Some of them don't want to go to change geopolitical designations. Some of them do. And, you know, should and- they- I, I doubt that any of the people that were living in Crimea in 1954 when Nikita Khrushchev moved it internally within the Soviet Union from the Russian Republic to the Ukrainian Republic either had any say or desire to move from one republic to another. Agreed. But that's See, the Darryl, difficulty. Back to what you were saying, every hawaiian secession argument that i've ever heard by the third sentence i hear white man so they always bring it up into like this type of racial ethnic group and i agree with but that's Mark's not saying. what i'm saying no he's not. i'm that's saying not that everybody saying. everywhere should have the opportunity to decide whether they wish to be part of whatever government exists at a national level over top of them yeah it I doesn't matter I'm white not. black asian whatever Right. Yeah, I see what you're saying on that. But the conversation's never in that context. It's about what group of people are going to tell you. What That's to the do. conversation I'm trying to have now is in the context of should the people living let and let's change it from Hawaii. Should the people living in Northern California be allowed to leave the rest of California? Should the people in Western Oregon be allowed to leave that. Oregon? That's not what he's arguing. I'm not arguing that. Yeah. I'm not All right. Arguing that Hold now. your thought, Jared, because I, I want to find out exactly what it is that you are arguing. We might just be talking past one another. This is Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com 
This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, live on a Sunday. And in studio tonight, it's Daryl. And Mark. And you can call in, talk about whatever you want. Although, if you have something important to say, you might want to wait because we we do have a pretty full bank of callers. And Jared, we'll get back to you real quick. But first, Mark has something important to say. Yeah, if you're uh, interested in Bitcoins, one of the first things you're going to have to have to get participate with Bitcoins is a is a Bitcoin wallet. Blockchain.info is the place to go to get that online wallet. They provide the best online wallet available to you. Obviously, if you have a tremendous amount of bitcoins, nothing can stand uh, you stand up to uh, you know offline cold storage. But if you've got you know you've got some bitcoins, Blockchain.info is a fine place to store them. Just go to blockchain.info, click on wallet there in the navigation bar. They have lots and lots of tools that you can use. You can explore that uh, that site for a long time. It's probably the biggest .info site on the internet. Uh, blockchain.info. And I think the best thing about the wallet is not just that it encrypts everything right in your browser so they never have access to your Bitcoins, but that you have access to it in cross-platform. So I can use the my laptop with my blockchain wallet, and I can use my smartphone. Whatever's easiest for me. Or tablet or desktop, yep. any Bl- computer device Blockchain. that connects to the internet. Jared, 
real quick, because I, I think that we've been talking past one another, and we do have other callers that I want to get to. So real quick, what yeah, is it that's fine. the point that you were trying to make? The point I'm trying to make is that not what you're saying, but the preamble, if you will, of a lot of people who bring up the topic of secession, whether it's Scotland or Crimea, Hawaii, that was the example I was using. But they come at it from a collectivist, unprincipled and historically misrepresented angle is what I'm trying to say. Like that specific example, Hawaii was not its own entity for I think only a few decades. Each island was its own kingdom. So in that sense, each island was stolen by the king. I think it was King Kamehameha. I think I'm pronouncing it right. So it's not as pure and simplistic as a lot of people make it out to make it out to be. For example, like the secession in Scotland. I mean, from my point of view, I think both countries politically suck. And there's no right side to be on. I think Scotland would tell you how to live your life and what you can eat and drink and do with your money and what type of guns you can and can't own, just like England. Like, I just don't really see a difference. I think a lot of people are misrepresenting that. Yeah, I like the idea of home rule in the sense that, uh, you know, the, your, you know, your oppressors are a little closer to you. I think that can have you know, some small amount of, uh, of, you know, you having some level of I don't know, credibility or control over them, but it's just tiny. It's infinitesimal. Um, and local governments can, can stink just as bad as uh, national governments. Thanks for the call, sometimes Jared. We're- Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and the, the one thing that, and I, I don't think that this is exactly what Jared was trying to say, but just because one government is bad, therefore it makes it you know not right for the people in that area to want to secede, could be looked at in the opposite way of, well, all governments are bad, so therefore we don't need smaller countries. We need one big, massive, giant, continental-wide country or even one big, giant, global country to make sure that all of the continents aren't fighting against one another. That'll be good. Let's now go to Eric in Pueblo, Colorado, who wants to talk about the anarchist caller that we had earlier in the night. Eric, you are on Free Talk Live. Yeah, I was uh, listening to this guy, and first of all, I'd like to congratulate him for thinking outside the box. Um, I think that we all need to come up with ideas like this to fix our problems, but most people that think of solutions like this aren't considering all of the effects that they will have. It'd be just a terrible thing to to actually try to enforce. If uh, If you look at, say, a big corporation like Apple, and you were to say, that all the major stockholders are not allowed to vote on the direction of the company, then all the customers of Apple would put Apple out of business by having it going in so many different directions. It's crazy. Now, I agree that there's terrible things going on in the government and that we all need to, to work on a solution. And maybe it starts with changing the way that uh, the government acts and the, the powers that it has. But uh, taking away half the voter population and essentially making a voter class uh, citizen is not the way to go about it. So, well, there, yeah, so what you're suggesting, I just want to reference what you're talking about. So what you're talking about is a caller called in and suggested that only people that don't get some kind of payment from the government, be that employee or welfare recipient, Social Security recipient, anybody who gets a, some kind of benefit from the government wouldn't be able to vote. Only producers. Right. But yeah, Eric, to sort of speak on something that you said is you, you and correct me if I'm wrong on the restatement, you said that that would create sort of a voter class of citizen and would basically take half of the people out of the decision making equation. But if you look at voter turnout, then. Generally, it's well over half of the people that have taken themselves out of the decision-making process right, they don't care by they're, they're choosing not to vote. We recently right. had a school board election to where I believe voter turnout was at maybe 11%. Okay. Which means that 88.9% of the people chose not to you know, make a decision. They they chose to not be involved in the decision making process. So right. you know, 
that there are already people removing themselves from the decision-making process. And so thereby uh, restricting the voters even more, it will just get even worse. Well, what makes you think that more voters is going to make for a better system? In Australia, um, they've got big, big government, and everybody's forced to vote. And, well, <laughs> Eric, hold on. I, I, I want to speak to something that Eric said. If you eliminated the people that are school employees from voting in the school board election, then the voter turnout would have gone from 11% down to probably 5%. Right. Right. And the five percent of people that voted out of the you know, or the five percent of the population that would have then voted are probably the people that would have voted for a smaller school budget. The government right. employees always make sure that they vote for a larger school budget because it benefits right. them directly to have a large school budget. Correct. So, uh, you know, this is and, and I wonder about your premise that uh, if um, stockholders weren't able to vote, I mean, I've hold, held a lot of stock and I've never voted in one of those stockholder votes. Um, and I think that generally people don't. Oftentimes they'll proxy their vote to somebody else or they'll just not vote at all. And so generally the votes are rubber stamps for whatever the board wants. Well, that that's true, but I don't know. I'm going to guess that your portfolio, you don't hold more than percent of any. Oh, I don't have any. Yeah, yeah, I'm not so, a rich man by any stretch. So of your, your single vote isn't going to make that big a difference. And that's probably why voter turnout in America is so poor. Yeah. Because their single vote doesn't seem like it's going to make a difference. Probably. So Thank you, Eric, for the call. This is Free Talk Live. Your call is welcome. 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN call-in line. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Running a business without being incorporated is like walking a tightrope without a net. One little misstep could cost you your entire business, your personal assets, and even your life savings. But no matter how big or small your business is, you can quickly protect yourself and your family by incorporating or forming an LLC. Call LLC.com today and we'll get you started by sending you our important free guide. 1-800-914-2967. At LLC.com, we don't offer legal or financial advice. We specialize in making incorporation simple, quick, and easy. In fact, we've been helping businesses do just that for over 100 years. Running a business without a safety net really is putting your whole future on the line and your family's future. Find out how simple it is to protect your personal assets by incorporating. Request your free guide by calling 1-800-914-2967. This is information you really need to know. That number again is 1-800-914-2967. 1-800-914-2967. Imagine for a moment... A radio program, the most personal of mediums that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We're heading down the home stretch. Final half hour of the live Sunday night edition in studio tonight. It's Daryl and Mark. And we've been pretty much all over the board tonight. We started off talking about the 10-year-old child in Ohio who was expelled from school for having a quote-unquote finger gun that, you know, you know his holding his hand to look like a gun and going pow pow and then we've pretty much been focusing on governments and we, we, whether or not governments are legitimate whether government is even a word that should be in anyone's vocabulary if it means what we think it means or should people just refer to it as the state and uh, we wanted to get into secession, specifically the secession vote that took place in Venice last week. But we, we've had callers call in, and we, we love that's callers. The the show, that, that's right? the point of the show. So we, we've not actually gotten to get to that story, but we might get to it before the end of the show. Right now, we're going to Wit in Paradise Valley, who apparently has an issue with one of the hosts. Wit, you're on Free Talk Live. Well, first thing about the anarchist caller that said government doesn't exist, so to speak, I'm sure that if I were to strike him in the face, he'd be the first person to be going looking for a real-world government to do something about it. And I'd be fine with that. But back to the real world, and one of, your ho- one of you two said something about they hate us because we're over there. No, the people like, for instance, the community Yatrovsky of September 11th, hate us because they were taught to hate. Just like Adolf Hitler, when he declared war on December 11th, 1941, on us four days after the Japs did, we didn't have anybody over there, so to speak, anywhere in Europe or in China or Japan. That there were there they was not any military them. on the ground in Asia. But okay. there, there was, there was certainly navy off the coast of Japan. Well, he's making his argument about Europe, though, provoking okay, the Japanese. No, no, well, no, no, J- no, Japan and Germany the were allies. Well, wait a second. I hold. On. I want to talk about. I want to talk about what's real world today. The terrorists that attacked nine, um, you know, the towers on nine eleven specifically said among uh, their reasons was the U.S. support for Israel and the U.S. president presence in the Middle East, uh, especially Saudi Arabia. So whether so or not. They were taught to hate. Mass murder, whether or not you believe that is what they actually actually they hate Jews because Jews exist. That's why they hate Israel. I don't know what they're. The uh, maybe this is true and maybe it isn't. Israel. We'll never know because the, you ever read the Quran? Yes. 
You mean all of it all the way through or parts of it? I read all those those uh, uh, all those rabbis te- or excuse me, what do they call them? Mullah's teachings and what they tell to do to people that Well, that's a different story. Believers. I mean, just because I have read the Bible doesn't mean that I've read everything that any preacher said. No, I said the Quran. The Quran doesn't right. the Bible doesn't preach hate. The Quran does. The, Jesus oh, Christ said okay. that he didn't keep, come to bring peace, but br- to bring a sword. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't know what that means. Right. How many wars has people in your lifetime started on behalf of that victim? None. So it has to be in my lifetime. None. Um, the, look, None. look. You, now you're arguing the None. difference between Christianity and Islam. I'm not either one of these things. I don't care about your stupid people in the sky. Stop, uh, stop with that stuff. I it's all just imaginary I crap. I the fact of the matter is, as long as your government it. is in the Middle East uh, enforcing the will of kings and and despots, that people are going to attack course. you over it. And you know it. So we deserved it. Uh, hold, who is we? Who is we? Well, you're the one that says it. Now, I me, do not I say it. Nobody on 9-11 deserved it because these people believe in the state. Very you good. believe in the state. They didn't deserve it. The fact of the matter is the people in the Pentagon deserved it. They were going about working oh and doing God. that stuff. Oh, my God. Well, now I will cite the invisible man in the sky and suggest that you actually find some kind of moral uh, grounding. That to make I do have a moral grounding, grounding. just like you it's do, Whit. I believe in the non-aggression a principle. That flew a plane into a building with uh, people Whit. that worked in the building. That's immoral. Whit, have, have you ever heard of blowback? Yes, I've heard of blowback. Okay, that is, why the, that, that is why the... You know, quote unquote, people in the Middle East hate us is because the U.S. government has been involved in the Middle East for decades, decades. We know for a fact that the CIA was involved in the Iranian coup in 1959. The CIA was involved in Iran and and in Iraq and all of the Middle Eastern countries. The CIA was involved in helping fund and arm al-Qaeda when al-Qaeda was fighting the Russians in Afghanistan in the 80s. And then the funding stopped. And then Osama bin Laden got mad because Sugar Daddy walked away. I got rid of Wit because he kept talking over us and wouldn't well, let us put out a thought. And, you know, as the person who is operating the government of this radio show tonight, I, I took that liberty to eliminate a caller who would not let us express our opinion. Well, I wish you'd have kept him. Um, I mean, Wit, Wit keeps on calling in and, and challenging the ideas, and I'm, I'm for that. I want him to. Um, you know, challenge those ideas. But the fact of the matter is, is that as long as you work within an organization that, you know, like the U.S. military, that is subjugating people, it's pretty obvious that you're going to be a prime target. The fact of the matter is there's troops on the ground in Saudi Arabia. If you don't think that affects how the politics operate in Saudi Arabia, you're not living in the real world. Clearly, those people... The United States had a revolution. It was a couple of hundred years ago, but people picked up arms and, you know, killed the British and got them out of here. Luck through through sheer luck, mind you. Um, and the people in other countries should be able to do that, too. The U.S. government shouldn't have troops on the ground enforcing their will in those countries, which is to keep, you know, sheiks and kings in power. I, I watched the remake of Red Dawn a couple of days ago. Yeah, I, I can't bring myself to do it. And... There was one quote in particular near the beginning of this movie that was very telling, where one of the main characters is a Marine, just got back from serving in Iraq, and then, you know, the North Koreans come in, and he's telling his brother and all of his brother's friends, you know, like, this is what we're going to do. He said, I was over there, and we were the good guys, and now we're the bad guys, and we get the chance to just make a mess and, and cause chaos for them. And I was thinking, wait a second. I wonder how many people are going to watch this and not connect that that's how the people... You know, not every person in Iraq, but a lot of people in Iraq are thinking as, hey, wait a second. Here's this invading force. Let's go make a mess for them. Well, 100,000, more than 100,000 people died in Iraq. That's according to State Department documents. Many of those people were noncombatants. More than 100,000, excuse me, more than 100,000 noncombatants died in Iraq during the war. 
I don't care which side you're on. Are you going to be thanking the U.S. government um, if they killed your kid or they killed your wife or they killed your husband? Nobody's going to be thanking you for that. Every time the U.S. government military gets involved in something, it creates more terrorists. It creates more people that hate you. Not because of their god wit. Not because of the magic guy in the sky that they worship. But because you're supporting an organization that killed their parents. And if you want to call in to challenge us, that's fine. But when you ask us a question and we are answering the question, don't try to talk over us because it's a conversation. We're supposed to talk with one another, not yell at one another. Well, I wonder whether, um, you know, I don't know how Wit's calling in, but sometimes people can't really hear on their phones. So, um, you know, I get where you're coming from, but Wit does seem to be a filibuster, or there's no doubt about it. I'd like to have a more reasoned conversation with him, and I don't feel like he listens to me. But, you know, that's okay. It's okay. Yeah, not everybody is going to agree with us, and that's fine. Because if everybody agreed, this would be a really boring radio show. Listen during the week. Mark and Ian don't always agree with one another. I don't always agree with Mark. So far tonight, I think we've been, you know, agreeable. Well, you hung up on wit, and I don't agree with that. <laughs> but your calls are welcome. 855-450-FREE. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Does advertising on the Genesis Communications radio network actually bring positive results? Let's ask Thomas Baldrick from Freeze Dry Guy. And do the GCN listeners let you know they heard your ad? Customers do let us know they've heard Freeze Dry Guy ads on GCN. Uh, they seem to be very loyal listeners to GCN, and they stay with those shows, and subsequently they stay with our business, too. Looking for positive results? Contact Lee Wickenhauser at 877-996-4327, extension 107. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. When I signed up for the Free State Project, I was excited by the prospect of moving somewhere with other people that had liberty as a goal. When I got here to New Hampshire, I was stunned by the great weather and the natural beauty. The Free State Project is helping to move liberty forward. Want to be involved? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. That's freestateproject.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Still time for your thoughts. If you call in right now, 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN call-in line. And in studio tonight, it's Daryl. And Mark. A lot of people in the uh, Liberty Movement looking to stock up on gold and silver right now. Um, It may be as a hedge against inflation or as a barter currency in case things go south or an investment if you believe gold and silver's value is going to go upwards. Well... A great place to get gold and silver is gold.freetalklive.com. We've teamed up with Midas Resources, who's a big name in the gold purveying business, and they will they'll take great care of you. Free Talk Live gets a little little tiny bit of credit, and you get the gold and silver that you want. They've got hand picked silver pieces, silver coins, gold coins, uh, gold pieces, whatever it is that you need over at gold.freetalklive.com. Back to the phones and the fun. Ken in Aurora, Illinois, wants to talk about something he heard on this show in June. Awesome. Ken, you're on Free Talk (laughs) Live with Daryl and Mark. What's on your mind? Well, the signal's got crossed a little bit, but um, I wanted to call in. You guys are complaining about, you know, your voices on the radio. Personally, I like Mark when he's sick. I think it sounds cool I, mean, I i enjoy it um i like the change in it but you know in and i think it's what but maybe two and a half months sometime around mid-june you're not gonna have to worry about filling in for the uh for my favorite little anarchists anymore because you'll have Derek j back and i'm sure he'd be more than more than happy to fill in yep Derek j will uh Derek, Derek j will be in in new hampshire soon uh, i've heard as uh, early as may not really sure exactly when Derek's coming back to town because that was pretty much self-imposed, right? Yeah, he basically left on his own. Um, he didn't want to take a chance of uh, violating his uh, suspended sentence, so he left for a period of time. So he's been back, and uh, you know, I mean, I think I I happened to I brought him on Free Talk Live, so I can say I discovered J- Derek J. Um, and I think he's uh, he's a great talent. Yeah. On a, on a more substantive note, I think that the. Uh, the great thing about libertarianism and voluntarism is the fact that we don't have to agree in order to live peacefully and coexist. That's the great part about it. I mean, statists, they kind of have to agree that the state is the ruler of everyone else. In a voluntary society, everybody can completely disagree with everyone else. As long as you're not hurting each other, it doesn't really matter. Yep, that's one of the re- the big advantages. And something that somebody said earlier, I, I'm not sure, Ken, if you had anything else to add, but something that was said earlier about uh, instead of calling you know, the rules that are established government, call it the law. Well, the law, and Mark, you alluded to this, the law is basically you know, do no harm. Don't harm anyone else. So in the age-old you know, ignorance of the law is no excuse. That's when the law was don't harm anybody else. Yep, don't steal them, steal from them. Not the, you know, there are more things written down on paper than one can read in four lifetimes. 
you know, ignorance of that law. Yes, there's every bit of an excuse to not know every dictate that has been written down. There's, what, 40,000 new regulations that get imposed every year, and I believe that's just at the federal level. It's impossible to follow all those things. And then I, I've tried reading some of these bills that go through the federal level, and you need a stack of books to be able to figure out what it means. Because a lot of these things begin by saying, to amend section oh 417, boy. subsection J, you know, blah, 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 colon C, 4, 2, to read blah, 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 and then change this, that, the other thing. So you have to keep going over and looking to see what you're amending and what it's going to be amended to. And it's impossible to comprehend without fancy legal degrees. And then even the people with the fancy legal degrees don't agree on what the things say. Back to the phones. We will take wit again. Generally, it's one call per night. Wit, we will take you on the premise that you will not talk over either myself or Mark. If you do, we will drop you again. Wit, go ahead. You get the first word and you always get the last word. And whoever talked over whom is a matter of argument. To be honest with you, I was suggesting some thoughts to you, and I would submit to you, you talked over me. But thanks for taking me back on, by the way. Uh, It's really interesting that uh, there have not been factions in Germany or Japan that I can think think of since we've been occupying them for the last 70 years that have blown up uh, Americans working in the Pentagon or Americans working in office towers or trying to take out the White House or whatever. Sure. Again, the people in the Middle East that you're defending, that you say the CIA propped up all these rogue regimes and all that, they, again, hated you long before you even realized it, and they're being taught to hate, just well, like the Japs so that bombed wait, Pearl I, Harbor were l- taught to hate. I, you love okay, bringing up a did. 70-year-old war, Wit. Um, the fact is, no, is we, that— we have forces in Germany and Japan right now. They're yes, in, indeed we do. Okay, so Japan has a, is a unique cultural situation. In Japan, if a commander loses a battle, he sticks a sword in his gut and disembowels himself on the battlefield. And, and a commander that likes him will go lop his head off to help him out. I mean, this is, this is a unique cultural situation um, to, you know, for Japan to sort of lay down and refuse to fight on. The fact is, neo-Nazis still exist in, in Germany, and the Nazis continue to fight on after World War II existed. Have they come over here? No, because the United States learned a lesson in World War I with the Treaty of Versailles not to be so rigorous in the strictures placed on, um, on Germany, and in that case in Japan, too. But the fact is, after that, in the Middle East, we're keeping people like uh, King Fahd in power in Saudi Arabia. Would you like it if China came over here and said, we like uh, Obama, he's going to stay in power for the rest of time and, and in his lineage? That's ridiculous. We didn't prop up the House of Saud. The House of Saud predated every politician you can think of, and I'm not here to defend the House of Saud. Apparently you so, are, because you're defending U.S. No, policy no, I, in the Middle you're East. Just saying I am. No, I, I think that the Middle East is overpopulated by a bunch of theocratic gangsters and murderers and ayatollahs that need to be gotten rid of for the sake of civilization and humanity and its continuance. And that's so what the U.S. government thinks, government. too. So you support genocide of everyone who is Arabic? No, I support the termination of people that preach hate and preach that Americans don't have a right to exist because they have freedoms, that Jews don't have a right to exist, that infidels don't have a right to exist. And believe it or not, there are like hundreds of millions of people over there that do believe that. But there are also like a billion other people that don't, and they're not doing anything about it. And neo-Nazis do exist in Germany, of course. But Germany is a free country. Thank God for the U.S. military sticking around after uh, uh so you like the idea? And Japan is a free country. Thank God for them because the U.S. military stuck around after 1945. You like that they the U.S. Have- government has to uh, – is uh, populates 130 nations with 1,000 military bases? 
I think we're the greatest country in the world. We're okay. a free country, can, and I want to I, protect liberty throughout the land. Okay, can I that withdraw my consent? You're speaking freely against the government. On no, I'm the not talking about speaking airways. freely. I don't want to give them any damn money to go kill people in the Middle East with remote control airplanes. That's what I want to withdraw my consent from. Really? Dead Those babies. People want you dead too, by the way. Hey, look, I don't care really whether I want you dead. I'm, I'm more scared of the U.S. government. Dead. I'm more scared of the U.S. government than I am of some people in the Middle East. Wet, I would contend that you are the one preaching hate, saying that you think that everybody in the Middle East who is Muslim should be exterminated. No, that's not what he said. Quote, unquote, for the sake of civilized society. Well, he, he said... Well, I don't know. He, how he said gonna, Muslims, but I don't. And know how he said find, Middle East. I don't know how he's going to find out whether or not somebody wants to kill us for our freedom or wants to kill us because of blowback. It sounds like he's got a little caveat in there. But I'm sorry, drones don't differentiate; they just kill. Right. And so, basically, what he's saying without actually saying it. Did you drop him again? I did. Oh God, you terrible! There's 45 seconds left in the show. All Mark. right, all right. There, there's no need to have him on for the next 45 seconds. Okay. But I, I contend that he's the one that's preaching hate. And also, the reason I dropped is because there's a caller on hold, and I was waiting for a name to pop up okay, get him. to get him on. And he is still on with GCN, so I don't have a name. Okay. Well, so I've been caught in that situation, too. I sort of understand. Yeah. I, I made a decision, thought that I could get another call, but I couldn't. This has been Free Talk Live online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Brett, apologies. I can't get you on for 10 seconds. Call back first thing tomorrow. You will be on the air. This has been Free Talk Live. While digital communications coordinator Brian Tyler is considered by many of his co-workers to be the cutest guy around the offices of Western Psychological Publishing Services, employees conceded today the 27-year-old is not even particularly attractive. Brian gets a lot of attention from girls around here, but if I saw him in a bar, I don't know if I would even notice him. Put him next to Glenn or Mike, and then, sure, he actually looks pretty good. 